Hi guys, and we are live on the Archie Luxury channel today. It's early in Bangkok, and but we are here. That's right, because we use American time, American time. That's exactly what we use here on this channel, where the bucks are, where the bucks are. That's right, guys. How's it going? And uh, yeah, what can I say? today it's uh it's all very friendly it's all very cool it's all happening here on the archie luxury stream uh let's have a look here let's get the show under way let's run an intro let's pin the link and let's start the show that's what we want to do pinning the link pinning the link is an important part of starting the show properly okay we also want to get our friendly who do we want to get on well we want to get our friendly bear on that's right guys the bear the bear is here to help us run a great show i was talking to lolex yesterday lolex lolex i don't know lolex is a little bit passive aggressive um, I don't know. What does he want? What does Rolex want? Some love. Let's run the intro and let's yeah. start the show. Listen to you. There. Listen to you. You calling someone passive aggressive? Really? Come on, Archibald. Come on, buddy. That's like me calling someone fat and bald. Come <laughs> on, buddy. Let's be honest. Yes. Rolex is the cool guy, man. He's just, very just, cool. You know what? He's just, you know what annoys me is he gets the hot stuff. I don't have those leads, Bear. He's got Listen, a hot he, car. He's actually a very Daytona. humble guy. He's got a, like, a, like a humble collection, all right? Let's 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 be honest. Mm. He, mm. he is not show-off. He's not really about hype hype. He enjoys his pieces. He's got a nice, nice saddle collection of Rolex watches. And uh, he yeah. loves them, okay? I think you should always remember one thing. When yes. uh, Goldberg and Cliver fucked you up, and they all left, and you were fucking left to die like a piece of crap on the, on the street, Lolex was the first one to jump on a stream and help you out. Lolex, mm. please! Am I right, Jim? It's from the Am intro, I right man. about that? Okay, intro, intro. No, not the long one. Okay, guys, we are live. Best um, intro ever. Best intro ever. That's the one. The That's intro. the intro. I love Thank that. God. Thank God it wasn't that seven minutes. Minute. In the link oh, fuck. The one with the uh, with the soccer horn in in Bangkok. Soccer, soccer horn in Bangkok intro. That's the best one. Hmm. I like I that one. Peace. I don't like the one uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I love you. That's six, that six yeah, hours long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was good at, in the day. That was okay yeah. in the day, but the characters have been replaced, and uh, it's just very. Yeah, it was it was interesting when it was relevant, right? Okay. Yeah. You know when Archie plays that bear when he wants to do as little of the show as possible. It yes. Knows it takes up a lot of time. Yes. Mm. Interesting commentary. Yes. Yes, that was a. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I won't deny it. Okay. How are you, JJ? What's going on? Yeah, all right. I was uh, under the weather a little with a little chest cold, you know, upper uh, respiratory. Spring mm. is coming. <coughs> Spring is coming, my friend. 
<laughs> I've had a bit of a cough as well myself. The bear was saying I'm dying, and and um, I think I might just be the Bangkok air. It's polluted. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, no. All kidding aside, uh, you you have definitely you have definitely some type of infection there. That that's not the air. Come on, bro. Mm. Do you I think, think it's from the massage parlors? I think it's from oh, the ice cream. Fuck, who the fuck knows, you know, this fucking guy. He, you know what? He, he eats everything everywhere. He, <laughs> he goes to these fucking strange places when the camera is not on. You never know with that, okay? It's yeah, he's a fucking a miracle of, he's alive. It's a miracle he's a man he's of alive. mischief. Yeah, he's that's for sure. It's about right, yes. <laughs> JJ. It's great yes. to have you on there. Did you buy that yes. Seiko? Yes, I've had that. I had that in the... I sent you a picture the other day of the Tudor. I don't know if you got it. The Tuner, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Seiko. You bought the Seiko. Wait, which, hang on. Yeah. Which Seiko? Did, oh, the one you sent me in the WhatsApp? Yeah, the SLA 043. How much is that? Uh, retail was, was 4500 There's limited edition 17 Hundred models. It's uh, I mean uh, seventeen hundred pieces. It's uh, limited, limited edition. But uh, right. now you can probably pick them up for like uh, I'd say twenty five hundred, something like that, three grand maybe. That's not bad at all. That's actually mm. not bad at all. It's a nice watch. I always liked it. So a that's limited a limited edition, edition one. Yeah, it's just a real to... crappy picture of it. I can send Archie a good picture if you want to. Yeah, send him I'm a good picture. Do you have a case back picture, the profile picture, the picture of the watch, the, all, all that about? Um, I have How to thick look. is it? How thick is it? It's a little bit thick. It's like... 13 and a half it's a little that's thick. not Ooh. that's not bad that's not bad yeah. it wears really well though because of the case profile is kind of thin it's got the, the fat like case back you know blue dial. right that. yeah it's a blue dial almost like that's why i say this picture is kind of shitty it's like a darker version of the vacheron the rehat seems strange what's that distortion with the rehat that's there? that's the one part i don't like it's high polished it's zaratsu polished they make these in the same factory as the grand seikos um, okay it's it's like very high polished. Help out! Look at that. The good Japanese guys, bear in the downtime, they want to help the other side of the company. See, this guy has modified that? his in this photo because hey, his his that looks like it's General Motors. You know that, don't you, JJ? That wouldn't happen at General Motors. You know that, don't you? What? What wouldn't happen? If the guys were had free time, they go and help the the different division, the Cadillac division. You go and help hey, yourself. Hey. So oh, th these are made in the uh, in the Grand Seiko factory, and the movements are like um, basically a dumbed down version of Grand Seiko movements. They're just not as highly decorated. Um, but this guy looks like he modified his Riha because the Riha is high polished. This one looks like it was blasted. Mm. You bought this pre-owned or new? I bought a pre-owned from one of our friends. I don't know if he wants to be mentioned, so I won't say who, but. Member uh, of the group, he, he had his for a while. I bought it from him. You bought it from Toyota Mo? No, no, just a member of the group. It wasn't Toyota Mo. Okay. Ooh, what do you think? Highly polished. What's the difference between the limited edition and the standard? I'm going to be one? honest with you. I'm not going to, I don't want to sound rude, but I like the other one <laughs> that uh, Mr. Walsh has <laughs> more. Well, the the other one is, uh, is quite a bit more. That one's $6,300, I think. Um, it's a, it's the same case size. It has um, the 8L55 movement. This has the 8L35, so it's a little bit of a higher end movement. The only thing is it's thicker. It's like 14 and a half mil. It's, it's quite thick. That's the only thing I don't like. But a lot of people like that one because it's like the original colorway, the all black. Right. I, I'm not hating this. Don't misunderstand me. No, but I'm, no. I'm just saying I really like the aesthetics of the other one. I genuinely do. Yeah, the other one's very... Mr. Bells, you've got a great one. That one's um, a very popular choice. I, most people like that one the best, but it is definitely the most expensive. Wow. I don't know what to say. JJ. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure between this and the two to Black Bay 58. I got. The what's the limited... What's so special about this one? Oh, it's made in the Grand Seiko factory. 
It has ever brilliant steel, the case. It's like a new, um, a newer steel they're experimenting with. It's got a great uh, circular, uh, uh, what can we call it? Not polish, what is it called? Like a brushing. Yeah. Um, the case is awesome, never scratches. Um, it's basically just a, a recreate, they call it a recreation of the 62 Moss, the 1965 diver. It's 39.9 mil, great size. Um, it's just really well built. You know, it's it's more high end than like let's say this is very equivalent to the I'll send you a picture, the SPB one four three. Um, Would you prefer this to a Tudor? Uh, I I bought both at the same time. I'm not sure which one I prefer, but I wanted a discount diver, so one's gonna stay and one's gonna go. I send you a picture of the other one next to the tutor that I got. This way you have two for one arch, two birds with one stone. Which tutor did you get? Black Bay 58, Blue Dot. Interesting. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted a, be a, a beater, you know? Interesting. Discount Diver. Discount Diver, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get in those moods too, I know. I mean yeah. too. Well, I, bo me too. I bought both of them because I want to compare. This one, the only thing that annoys me with this one is the 19 mil lug width is kind of annoying. I don't know why they didn't just make it 20. Never ever bothered me because I never ever use aftermarket stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. We are well aware, well aware of this. Bear. Are... But I do, I do get the idea. And I mean, that's something that a lot of people who enjoy. Changing the straps, they don't fucking get it. Why? Why would you do that? And I don't know why they do that. No, I really no. don't. There's no really good really, logic behind it. It's like Panerai. Everyone fucks with the straps on a Panerai. That's part of the fun, Bear. Yeah, I know. And that's why I love my I love my bracelet on the Panerai. I'm a weirdo. I've got my unique approach to some things. You like the other picture, Arch? Sorry. You sent me another picture? There, keep them on time. Keep them on track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm watching. We're trying to run I'm a show here. Every move. I have every move. <laughs> I like this other one. The A lot of people, I think, um, Shot in the Dark. I think Patrick, AD Never Calling, bought a few for people, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know Shot has one, the SPV143. Same skin diver case. Um, I kind of feel like you know, obviously it's a it's it's twelve hundred new, which you could probably get for like a thousand. I feel like it's a little better, a um, little more honest Seiko. If you get, but some people want higher end Seikos, but I would probably is go this, with this. Uh, is this your picture? No, no, I just I sent it to him because it has the tutor I got and the other Seiko I was considering as well. Yeah, that that Seiko I I like that better than the one you have. Forgive me again. No, I, I just said that's what I was saying. The same thing, and you could probably pick that up for like a thousand bucks. The aesthetics, yeah. the aesthetics. I don't really want. I, I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to Seiko, well, the finishing. I don't, yeah, I don't really give a fuck about the movement. Yeah, well, the finishing is not nowhere near as nice either. You're not getting that ever ever brilliant steel case. You know, there's there's a lot you you're not getting, but I think for the money, the SPB one four three is probably the move. But yeah, that's the tutor I picked up as well. So that tutor is amazing, absolutely fucking awesome watch. Uh, right of right now, an amazing. Look who we've just got who's joined the stream. Hello, Mark. Mark. Cheers. Uh, how are you, Mark? JJ Bear boys. Hello, hello. So oh, yeah. Damasco was saying David S W has great photos of JJ's watch. So mm. if you want to look at them, but. That's your sponsor, Archibald. That's your sponsor. Yeah, that's a nice segue, right? You like that bear? I've been working on it. That is the best Seiko's ever, TJ. That's a beautiful watch. It is. I feel like I've come to a point where I've now accepted my higher-end watches are probably going to be dress pieces, chronographs, and maybe a, a GMT or two, but I want to have my dailies more of a, at a lower price point diver. I'm not really into the luxury diver category. I don't know. It's a new development. I mean, you know, that's look. I'm I'm I, I'm wearing a gold Samariner just for shits and giggles here. But I'll t but I'll tell you what I live. Oh, in. I love that watch. It's I a good watch. In, and it's a beautiful thing. Look, it's not even set. I mean, if you wear one of these, do you really even need to? Even no. Wear it the time? <laughs> if you have one of those, who cares what time it is? Five dollars. Panic and pussy bikers from today. Yeah, baby. Panic and pussy. <laughs> yeah, well, baby. 
I'll let you guys have it. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I, got well, it. I actually it didn't think about it for a moment. I forgot. I'm a, well, it's just diverse programming, but you guys enjoy what you enjoy. You, you know, uh, I'm 100% with JJ, and I, I, I suspect that this is where um, Bear and I part company because I love my Rollies, but I, I don't live in them. I live in Seikos and ball watches and, you know, lower. Oh, no, I'm okay with that. No, 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 no. I enjoy this, those kind of watches as well. Mm. Now, do I uh, do I favor them? No, but do I enjoy them? Yeah. Do I look for them? Yeah. I think there's some really cool watches at that price point, and I I like that. I like, and I I can get I get the idea about the the budget diver. The 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 budget diver is a cool thing, man. And budget diver is a cool thing. Knock them around, beat them up, wear them out. Don't yeah. even see twice a wise man once coined it the discount diver. Remember that guy? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the wise guy, the pontiff, the one. That Seiko, that's a different Seiko, of course. Yeah, um, same case, actually. It looks a little different because it's on the Do you have a photo with the Tudor with that other Seiko you just bought? I didn't take one. I, I can take one uh, if you want. I love this photo, by the way. Well done. This is really nice. Photo. Is the 58, original 58. Yeah, I can take a picture. Just give me a few. These are two fantastic watches for going to the gym, doing gardening. Like, you know, I was gardening today. I, I, I You should see my chainsaw. It's really adorable. It's battery operated and six inches long. <laughs> but you've got that approved a little fucker. Those Ross's dildo. Oh, sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> should have <laughs> that. Mark, do you have a tutor? I oh Christ, do I have a tutor? Uh, so I have the um, the the first, the original Black Bay um, with the burgundy dial, the ETA, and the smiley face. Okay. I have the um, the fifty four. You have fifty four. I have a fifty four. I got that one from Clydesy. Um, How do you feel about it? It's a pretty cool watch, isn't it? I, I, I need to make an effort to wear it a little bit more, and I'm wondering if I – I don't have a 58. How is, how, is, how is that son of a bitch going? How is that son of a bitch? Clyde or the watch? Clyde. <laughs> Clyde? Cl Clyde's good. Mm, he was riddle streaming the other day, Bear. He's a great friend, Clyde. Well, he uh, owns the rights and title to rebel streaming. He actually came up the whole – the whole concept of Rebel Streaming is coming from him, so he kind of owns the rights to it. Well, when he only, does it, when he does it, it's acceptable. And not not only that, but he invented the Archie like the Archie Luxury live stream on the daily. And if right. you want him here, if you want him here, you just let me know. I will rub the mug and summon him like a demon, you know. Like, but he's that's he's, up to Archie. Up to Archie. He's on your. He's on your team, Archie. We got we got JJ. I'd rather keep JJ and Marky. Hey, keep them in a good mood. <laughs> Marky turns so aggressive. So you have a Tudor Burgundy smiley face, the original one. Yeah, I got. You the have the you have the fifty four, which I love. Which I and uh, you have one. I, I sold it because I'm a poor poor man from the poor family. Oh, no. uh, but mm. I did love it. Mm. And you know who owns it now? Money. Mm -hmm. Did you lose money? Tanzil, Tanzil. Did yes, you lose absolutely, money? absolutely. I lost money on Tudor. That well, yeah. goes without a saying. You have well, to buy it at retail, and you have to sell it under retail. So you're always going to lose the money if you're buying Tudor at retail. But I bought it when it was relatively hot, so I wanted to check it out. What else you got? Okay, um, I'll tell you right after this. Super chat. Oh, yes. Super chat. Here we go. Cliver's. AC3, why didn't Clivers listen to you when he first inquired about your services on the Mexican bracelet day date? <laughs> Good point. Good Actually, by the way, guys, I'll be back yeah. in a minute. I'm going to go to the didn't... toilet. I'll be back. My answer the fucking super chat for, for fuck's Why sake. didn't Clive listen to me? Because I told him not to buy it. I said I wouldn't buy it, but he went ahead and did it because Clivers doesn't listen to anyone. Yes. He's a lawyer. That's right. That's the exact right answer. He doesn't I, listen I, to I, anyone. I, I, said, I personally wouldn't buy it. I tried to be diplomatic. He did. He bought it. He didn't listen to me there. And then, and then he sold it and didn't and didn't make a barely got his money back. He's a contrarian. Okay. He's a, the boy is a contrarian. Okay. But okay. 
There's a question, did I buy any watches? Uh, Foreman wants to know that. I buy watches from Clyde. Yeah, yeah, I have. I bought the, the Black Bay 54 from Clyde Z. I also That's have, a good buy. That's a good buy. Yeah, so I paid retail, but I was happy to get it. It was brand, it was like, there were hardly any of them out when I got it. I it's a cheap it. watch to begin, so it's, it's yeah. an enjoyable watch, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And then, um, let's, well, okay, it's a cheap watch by the standards that you and I normally operate for like normal human beings. It's not so cheap. True, um, true. Yeah. Okay, I have uh, another watch I bought from Clyde, and I, and I also still have, is the Tudor Black Bay Chronograph Panda Edition. Uh, white panda, I yeah. panda. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool watch. I, I, I think, I think you know what? At one time, there was a thing the only Tudor that was selling over retail, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, aesthetics are really cool. It's a little bit larger watch, which never bothered me because yeah, I don't mind wearing larger watches. Sometimes I actually kind of like it. Well, because we're larger boys, <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, it feels good on the wrist. It's not uncomfortable and. I mean, it's a good quality piece. It's not it's, too it's, thick. It's yeah. a nice watch, man. I love it. Nice bracelet. I'm 100% with you. The if if I, I mean, if it was a millimeter thinner, that would be nice. But it doesn't bother me with its current thickness. If I would complain, and the bracelet, everything's good. If I were, yeah, yeah, good I watch. About one thing is um, okay. If they're not going to give us like a T fit clasp on that, then I think what it has is two. Maybe maybe three micro adjustment, you know, little right. holes. It could have more, but other than that, um, it's super nice. And honestly, um, and and I know you'll agree with me on this because we share one brain. But it 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 is. It's got so much more wrist presence than the Panda Rolex that it's kind of a nicer watch in its way. Right, Panda Panda Rolex is a very tiny tiny watch. Yeah, where's uh, watch? I am gonna be honest. I've never been a big fan of Daytona's. They've never been my favorite watch. I love their exclusivity. Uh, I love the, the flex they, they create. Um, but um, as, a, as, a, as a watch, it's, it's not even my top 10 favorite Rolex watch. No, I mean, it's, it's in there. It's somewhere in there for me. But honestly, the most delicious part about it was buying it at retail because you, you know you can't buy it at retail and and it's well, a, yeah 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 that, that, and it's a that, beautiful that, thing i mean i don't mean to knock it i still own it i haven't sold it i probably never sell it um and sometimes when let me I'm, let me actually let me just try to go like i i let me just try to to kind of think out loud i definitely love all the subs more than that I love all the GMTs more than that. I love all the sky dwellers more than that mm -hmm. I love uh explorer uh, maybe not. You know what? I love it probably equally as Explorer. Mm. They're both tiny. Even 40 millimeter Explorer feels tiny to me. Don't ask me why. But they date. Uh, oh, fuck. Day dates are so fucking cool, man. I know, right? There was, yeah, a, there was a point when a day date was cheaper than a panda, though. You notice? Yeah. JJ's right. always his, his day date. Once keeper. He's never got. I just want to sleep. take a moment, Archie, if you don't mind. I see an amazing guy in the chat. CB, mm -hmm. nice to see you. Welcome to the chat. We missed you. Uh, always, always awesome to see you. And we have a super chat from the boss. On the board. Here we go. We got a super chat from the boss. <laughs> the boss, play your tuk tuk race video on the Archie, on, from the Archie Luxury Channel from today. Did they take you to like a gem shop and a rug store? Did they like hijack <laughs> you and take you places you didn't want to go? No, I, we just went. I, I just sent, went for it. I sent you that photo you asked for, by the way, Arch. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so why do you much. think you asked for the two watches together? Do you think he's, he thinks I'm making up that I own them? Mm -mm. No, no. no I what think I he likes to compare. <laughs> I'm he just, likes what to I compare. Liked about him, JJ, what I liked about him right. is. Um, the pricing is similar, aren't they? Pricing similar. Very the, similar. Um, I got to be honest with you. Fuck. You know, I, it's funny that we're even considering that. Well, the prices of these two on the screen are not that similar. The Black Bay Fifty Eight is probably twenty seven hundred US. The Seiko on the screen is probably a thousand or less, second than US. 
But the one I, the, the two that I sent you, those prices are similar. That Seiko is more money. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's from the Grand Seiko factory. I couldn't get a great picture because of the lighting. But... It's okay. Picture, it's good. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I still would say go with the Tudor uh, 58. If you are testing and you want to decide which one Ooh. stays, I, I, I got. I He's have asking you, Bear, did I pass on the sympathy note? I did, yes, sir. Didn't you, Bear? Absolutely, CB. Uh, Archie did that. <coughs> that was at the very beginning, and I, I really appreciate it, sir. Okay, well, what about that? Hey, Marky, Marky, you know what I bought because we haven't seen each other a long yeah. time? That <laughs> Grand Seiko diver. Did you? Do you yes. like it? How do you, how do you I'm feel? enjoying it. I've been wearing it. Uh, I, I suits me really well. Uh, I love the size. Now, it's um, the, S, the SPG 229. Is that is that what it is? Yeah, the one you, you showed on, the, on, yeah. on, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. that stream. Yeah, no, it's and I'm cool. liking it. It's insanely accurate. I mean, you will not have to adjust that watch more than once a month at most, and only then if you're OCD. Otherwise, every every few months. And I love that it has the power reserve also. I kind of appreciate the total complication. I, it makes sense to me. I didn't think I would like that, but given that we both rotate watches so much, it's nice to know when that one needs a wind or, or to be right. to rest. You know, it's a, surprisingly nice. Okay, real quick, what about the Tuk Tuk video? And then we have a Ross Rachel Brady comment. We should look at that real quick. Archie, do you like Boston cream pies? Yeah. I feel like that's nasty, though. It's, it's got... Mm. Secret uh, sexual code, right thing. It's definitely actually yeah, loves yeah. Boston cream pies. Well, for I don't, I don't know you know <laughs> Do you like Boston? I cream like the Boston pie? cream donuts. <laughs> but guys, I think you're not catching Rachel's drift here with this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> God's sakes. Okay. Uh, but aside the sexual thing, I really, really like Boston cream uh, <laughs> stuff. I, I love the the Boston cream. I'm with you. Okay, I, I'm, it's really I, good. I, uh, I have, I, I, I'm, we learn something new every day. There you go. Yeah. What tuk 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 big boy tuk tuk. Tuk tuk tuk. I'm getting tuk tuk video. I don't know if you. I'm trying to find it. Out there. <laughs> you know, I uploaded well, this. Maybe Patel can pay you for it, I'm, send it to you, to and rain. play it for you. Why doesn't he just? Yeah, and maybe he can even run it. the show for you. Got it. I it. Yeah, found it. Uh, here we go. go. Back to this morning's video. It's, down. It's, it's uploaded. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly. It's a great video, Bear. Yeah. Just because you told me to get out there and do something. Well, yeah, like you did in the good old days. Why not? Here we here go. it is. Make it uh, make it full screen. Don't say you don't know how. Come on. No, no, to the. Uh, uh, I did it for him. Thank you. Yes, you know, I believe I see a woman in the rear view mirror. Guys, if you zoom in on your screen, pinch and zoom in on the rearview mirror, you will catch a surprise appearance. By Is that an upskirt? Upskirt? By guest star. I feel like I'm playing Mario Kart. <laughs> Welcome to Ben Cat. There's actually no traffic there. It's amazing. He's like pretty crazy. What I love is they have, um, you know, you have food trucks. They have um, cocktail trucks. You, you just open the side of it and there's a bar right on the street. <coughs> yes. Oh, is that took took a nine thirty? Oh, 
That's actually a very classy group of water and like rusty and do not have lights and music. You there you go. Okay. That. I I actually enjoyed that. I believe you overpaid. You got mm. you got the class the classy tuk tuk. That was at least five hundred baht right there. Uh, it was actually two hundred. Yeah. Nice, good, good job. What is that? That's like six yeah, bucks. That's okay. That's like ten. Yeah, that's okay. Little bit of a ride. Not too bad. What do you think, bear? That was fun. It was very fun. But Bonnie says that uh, Michelino, the uh, horological rabbi, had a better tuk tuk content. <laughs> mm. Mm. You had to lose the toga. Mm. They also say he took took the leads. Took took some leads. Took took mm. some leads. <laughs> The lead. The lead. The lead. Yet he had he only 60 baht, uh, Archie. Did you know that? He only had a 60 yeah. baht. Yes, 60 baht. And an American Express card that no one wants. And a $300,000 watch on the wrist. Yes. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Hundred percent right, Bear. What can you do, hey? What do you do? Not much. It's um yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm trying to add some more a little bit of video snippets, Bear. What do you think? I have uh, some interesting news watch related from my A D that actually made me happy today. Ooh. Um my friend uh, my my A D called me today and, and he said that he had a uh, meeting with the Canadian uh, IWC president in Canada and mm -hmm. uh, they are actually going to distribute the um, IWC engineers to regular ADs. Oh, um, did they realize that they were getting too crazy, too carried away with themselves? Yeah, I think so. And I love the watch. I would never buy it from a boutique. I would never buy IWC without the discount. So now the debate Some is about that discount. Some the debate, immediate. Okay. The debate I have with my with my personal choice here is do I go with the white dial or do I go with the mm -hmm. teal dial? I white dial I prefer aesthetically teal dial I prefer because of the hype. But will the hype really last? I don't know. Uh, I do know that the white dial really looks cool to me. Black dial is the most classic, most traditional. So I'm just curious, which uh, one would you guys pick? Hmm. Hmm. I know which one I'd pick. I just, should I say it now? Yeah, well, yeah that's sure. what I'm asking, yeah. I would pick the gray dial. Gray dial? Mm hmm Interesting. I never even thought of that one. I didn't even consider. Why? I, I just like the industrial look of it. Are you talking titanium or you got the other one? Which one? No, I'm talking steel. I'm, I don't want titanium. No. Oh, yeah, there is one version that's titanium. That's the gray dial, yeah. right? No, I, I, no, they, I would they have not both. Want. They have both, I'm pretty sure. I don't think so, JJ. Is it only... Um, I think well, that one that you're talking about is not available in steel. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, there's a so, silver dial. They make a silver dial. My apologies. Yes. I am, I am, I'm, I'm, I am thinking, I'm thinking, uh, I lean toward the white dial. I really like that look. Um, but I know the teal has been most popular, so I don't know. The greenish, tealish, whatever the fuck it is. That's my favorite color right there. Yeah, the teal so you one. would pick that one, not because of the height, but because you actually like the color. Teal. It's my, my bedroom is painted teal. It's the reason that I love the uh, the Tiffany, because it's, you know, in in the same vein. One of these days, I'll give you a tour of my bedroom. It's it's teal. I think you'd have to see them in person, though. But, yeah, I'd probably get that one, too. 
I got to tell you the truth, Bear. What the hell are you doing buying this stuff? The market is tough, Bear. You've bought so many expensive watches. Just slow down, man. We can't. It's a problem. Slow down, Bear. He's got so many. Sometimes you've got to pull back a bit. Oh, he's just sent me a photo. You know, I, I, I had I, some interruption with the, with, the, with the sound. Did you say something, yeah. Archie? Yeah, buy it, Bear. Great job. Buy it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks for the words of encouragement. Yeah, I got to tell you, Bear, I don't know if I'd be buying this shit, Bear. The market's turned. I oh, have a problem man. hearing you, Archie. Is every, can you, I don't hear you, Archie. Bear, can you hear me? I don't know. Depends what you say. Mike! Mike! It's Mike! Uh, huh? buddy. Uh, come on, on the live. Nine thirty is fine. I fixed the shift. Archie, shift. bring it up, bring it up. Let's pick the watch for bear. Let's pick yeah. the watch for bear. Come on, guys. Good, Mike. Get I'm on. Bring it up now. Come on. Yeah. Right, Mike. Get in here. Here we go. I got to be honest with you. The teal is beautiful. If you're going to pay retail, get the teal. Let's yeah. see. Bring it up. You can get a discount. Get the black. I think the black's the classic. The classic. Mm -hmm. Classic. That's what I. Uh, that's a, that's a classic. Actually, you had uh, engineer. Was it the white dial or silver dial? What Mint. was it? Arch had, had the black dial. No, it was the bluey gray dial, bear. Because it was uh, a, it was a three two two seven I W three two two seven. I thought it was black dial that one. Mm. I love no, the watch. Was, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I know the moment is nothing special. Uh, I know that it's overpriced, but I love the design. I think this is the best design How much of engineer. Uh, Fifteen thousand two hundred. Oh. Hang on, Canadian, Canadian, oh. Oh. Canadian. What is that like ten? That's uh. No. Fuck me, Dad! You're gonna make me work. No, like, never mind. I'll do it, Alexa. How much is fifteen thousand dollars Canadian? Yeah. Eleven four US. Yeah, it is expensive. It is expensive. It's a sub. Yeah, it is expensive, but but um, I mean now that it's an AD, obviously I'll get a discount, right? Mm, one would hope. There's only one right answer here. Oh, uh, look, uh, Hoff is going to help me Hoff out. Go Mr. ahead, Hoff. Hoff is here. Hi, baby. Oh, you I know, see. So You know the answer, Bear. So it is the teal. I'm going with the teal. And by the way, one of JJ's guys is uh, selling this watch in his WhatsApp group. Oh, yeah. Which okay. watch? Uh, the teal engineer. And how much is he asking? I think he 11. didn't say. I think it's uh, Alex. Watch a whole wrist watch hole, like you know, Alex. Yeah, but if it's not in Canada, bear. Yeah, but just curious what is going on in the secondary <coughs> market. I, I would I would not buy from him, but I'm curious what is he's asking. That's all. He linked uh hold on. He linked uh I believe he linked the ad on eBay. Bear, did you just say you're by curious? Did I say by curious thing, honestly? And the name of the dial is Aquamarine, Bear. So if you want to be complete hype, you got to say Aquamarine. Beautiful. But I, it looks green, but it is beautiful. I, uh, oh, the Aquamarine, that's the name of the of the actual, that's what they're calling it? Yeah. That's even cooler. Actually, that's kind of cooler. I have to agree. <laughs> that would so solidify it for me, Bear. Yeah, the cheap, yeah. The cheapest I see is a private dealer in the U.S., 11.8. So they're, they're asking the retail. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, I, yeah, Alex had it up for twelve. It it was eleven or ten eight with coupon because eBay's doing a ten percent off. How, how new is that color? I think this is Alex's actual watch on Chrono because it says California. Is it is it new? I'll send you a screenshot, JJ, and then you can see if the pics are the same. I'm just wondering if in another six, eight months, it's going to be a lot less. It's been out for I a think year so. Already. Well, listen, Ma Marky, Marky, the fact they are preparing to distribute to ADs should tell you something, right? Yeah, yeah they can't get rid of them. <laughs> so it will go down in price, for yeah. sure. 
For sure. I bet that was always the plan, though, right? A year in the eight. In the eight. I gotta tell you something. I These think you're right, years, I honestly think you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta tell you. You know what? I I would love to get mine back. I I think I think that one was really nice, but I think <laughs> this, is, this is actually nicer. Uh, I think this design is a little bit nicer, and also they managed to really reduce the thickness, uh, and and that to me makes this watch fantastic. You know, I want mine back, Bear. That's the thing about it. I actually really want it back. Can you get your exact one back? Uh, no, but it's no big deal. You know, they're the problem is they've gone up a bit in the market. Yeah. But IWC generally has been you pretty... know what it was? People were so pissed off at this release, they actually mm -hmm. a lot of people went after the vintage. Super chat. I see. It's Neo. Did you know it's Neo? We got a super chat from Joel Brown, two dollars. New collection review vids. When I'm finding oh, I'm getting I'm actually gonna be working on some videos today, Please. Bear. Listen, we do we do them six months after the content. new collection review video. Well, I'm getting how about started. we do a little no, no. favor for Joel Brown, and you uh, bring the picture of his collection? We can do a little preview. Yes, we can. Let me find just it. To, uh, just to just to kind of kind of see what collection are we talking about? Let's see what he's got, Bear. Yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Let's give him an extra value. Let's be intrigued. By the way, Bear, the other reason I would go Aquamarine. Yeah. It's the only integrated bracelet with that color. Fuck me, Dad. You are good salesman. You know what that's I mean? A, that's a fantastic point. There is absolutely nothing similar with that dark, that color. You are 100% right. There's a tons of white, tons of black, tons of gray. Yeah? Yeah? All right, can we solve JJ's problems now? Pull that other fucking picture up and let's settle this down. <laughs> We're going to work out yeah. Tommy's engagement ring, too. Yeah, He's still Tommy, working on that. Tommy. Has he been breaking your guys' balls about that? This guy was. Well, I'm not breaking yes. balls, yes. but we've been assisting. I've been assisting. I know. I'm try, trying to lead her. I'm like, bro, you're so deep in this. She's not even going to care this much. I told him, you know what I told him? Let him enjoy. Do? Come on, let him oh, enjoy. You know what I told him to do? I said, half. I said to him, get a 1.52. Round brilliant G or H color VS2, you're done. And he's asking me about all these different fucking things. Yeah, the it, octagon, decagon. Uh, I was, yeah, them. I love Tommy. I said to him, Tommy, she's not good. I said, Is the marriage even gonna last? That's what I said to him. <laughs> Very <laughs> optimistic, Arch. I'm just getting that review he coming because I had to send it from a different module. Right. He buys ten thousand dollar pillows. Could you imagine what this engagement ring is going to cost? Oh, and he ain't going Blue Nile. What's, wrong, what's the Blue what's Nile? With blue no, Nile? I, I would be going that? Blue Nile. What is the Blue Nile? The GIA. Yeah. The GIA. Yeah, diamonds it's wholesale. Like it's basically the Amazon of diamonds. So what, yeah. what you know the, what, hang on, I wanna Blue wanna, Nile has completely revolutionized the yeah. whole market. Okay. Would you go with the artificial one? So, well they're no, not artificial, they're, 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 they're synthetic, true. but they're real. Oh, this is oh, so those are the ones. The I'm, lab grown. They used no, to right. like yeah, cubic zirconian. Now it's lab grown. No, cubic zirconian oh, does, not have the molecular, does not have the molecular construction of a diamond. The, the lab-grown diamond is a diamond, and a diamond tester cannot tell it apart from a natural diamond. Correct. Diamond. Correct. But they do have a tester that yeah, can distinguish. The cheap one can't tell. Listen, here's the deal. That the black women, one that has the, like, five dots that you always see. It's like, the same thing. But, there. There's a reason they all use that one. Let me leave it women, at that. Women, well, there's, there's a, a cheaper and a more expensive way. I forget the two methods, but one is pressure and one is, like, deep PVD. You know, to, to make those things. Right. But basically, right. No, one's moissanite and the other one's lab grown. No, moissanite is a different material altogether. Yeah, right? moissanite's a different right. thing. I don't know. No. Listen, at strong. the end of the day, a lab grown diamond is a diamond. And the only reason that the mined diamond is going to survive is women <laughs> because they want you to spend more. That's why. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a very symbolic thing in reality. It doesn't, it's not like fucking warrants that value. That's, that's for sure, Mark. Mm hmm. 
Also, it's you the have biggest, like biggest marketing marketing scam because the ever. Markup, because the markup they're not rare. The markups are absolutely enormous. De Beers has controlled the market, uh, you know, like as, as a monopoly for years and years and years. So they really created the market. You go back a hundred years ago, and nobody was buying diamonds, uh, sapphire, and all kinds of other cheaper stones were were the and were the were the stone of, of of choice in a in an engagement ring and more the the millennial look it up the millennial do not like diamonds they're opting for lots of other things so i think that industry is in a lot of trouble oh, mm. that's a big collection by the way holy shit let me see yeah, just one photo yeah. look at this here i'm just gonna zoom in a bit bear this so uh, he's got a collection review always these people who bitch he They're always the one who have these fucking the super collections Bell that I. Oh, there's some nice stuff in there, though. The one Bell and Ross I don't hate. Uh, which one is that? Because it's round. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The bottom, uh, second yeah, bottom, floor, right? Yeah, second from right. Yeah. It's a cool. That's a Bell and Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they they they, they do make a round diver, and that's it. Right there. There we go, Bear. Oh, Having wow. a look on the I screen now, you can should be able to see that now. Well, I mean, sorry, it's a GMT, not a diver, but y'all know what I mean. You know what's missing from yeah. this mix, Bear? A Rolex. Well, let's go I've got first. Let's see the watch. I've got a second photo, there. which I can. Can we what's go the through the watches, please? Is that that Atelier Wine watch? Okay, that let's. This is a guy who hates Rolex. Yeah, let's he have a look. So what he's got here is he's got he's got a Vacheron on fifty six annual Beautiful. calendar. He's got a Moza. Really cool. Isn't that the iWatch? JLC in gold. <laughs> He's got, yeah, I think is it is. Watchmaker, yes, one? it is. He's, yeah, he's the, doing like you always say when he's something important and good to do for the show, he speeds through it like it's poison. Yeah, yeah exactly. Come on, go back to the muzzle. Can you go back, can you go back uh, to the uh, muzzle? Can, can you fucking take some time when you're showing a watch? <laughs> go back to the that, that Moser is a special edition. I haven't even seen that Bashron properly. Can we go from beginning? There we go. Okay, Shit. Yeah, here we, we go. Blue dial. Is this the perpetual calendar? Annual calendar? What do we got here? This is the annual calendar. Okay. Moon phase. Um, yeah. The 56, the annual calendar. He's so, got white the, gold or steel? That's got to be I think gold. these, okay, good question. Good question. You're always going to ask the questions, JJ. Well, I'm sure he has written down the list though, as well. Steel, it's steel, it's the 56 complete oh. calendar. So actually, so I don't think it's an annual, it's a complete calendar, it's a triple date. So, oh. what's complete calendar? Actually, explain, please. Okay, a complete calendar means it doesn't know 30 or 31, you've got to adjust it. You've got to adjust that, yeah, okay. Right. Any well, every yeah. month that has less than oh, 31 days, you've got to adjust. The annual, yeah, yeah, well, that's the whole point of an annual calendar, Hoff. Yeah, the only thing annual calendar doesn't know is the leap year. That's why that's prepared. Yeah, the, the February. In February, it, it'll just pretend it's a 30 day month. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why it's called an annual calendar because it's got to be adjusted annually. And unlike the regular 56, this has the Geneva seal on the movement. Oh, cool. Yes. Mm. Lovely watch. I like it. The next one he's got is the Moser there. Now, this Moser, i got to be totally honest with you. I never liked these. This is a special okay. edition. This was hard to get because they essentially did it in the form factor of the Apple Watch. Yeah, I exactly. Like this. this is white gold. It's amazing. Um, I even hate the lugs. It's almost the only Moser I like. Well, it's the Apple Watch lugs. I so know. this thing is, it's like a one-to-one -one copy of the Apple Watch, only in, in high horology. Yeah, this it is. He has, has a beautiful movement, by the way. Beautiful movement. I'm sure. Anytime you turn those Moses around, they're breathtaking. His duo, his his reverso is actually a duo face reverso. So this guy is interesting. This guy is very interesting. This guy is uh, a bit of a hudinki material. This guy is a watch aficionado. This guy has the patches on his uh, sweaters, on his sweater <laughs> yeah. sleeves, elbow patches. Elbow I love, patches. I love Ben Clymer patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this, this he definitely collection. owns a, a sweater with the shotgun patch <laughs> on the shoulder. Guaranteed, <laughs> guaranteed. He, he, Joel, do you smoke a pipe? I mean, yeah. this, this collection reflects 
so much more thought and passion than my own. It makes me feel a little ashamed. No, you know, don't feel ashamed at all, Marky. This is somebody who knows watches. I just buy Rolex. What's hot? That that's me. Mm, that's okay, Marky. We like shiny, Make beautiful Rolex. In the chat, he saying he do. loves this Moser. Yeah, I, that's the only Moser I like. Who like? Who says that? Yeah, bring him up. Who says that? <laughs> Snakey, snakey. Mikey, you, Mikey actually thought it was an Apple Watch. Oh, why is Mikey not on the stream? Why, why is he in the chat and not on the stream? He's playing hard to get, Barry. He wants you to tickle his balls to come off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, you know this uh, reversal is, is too small, guys. This reversal is way too small. It, it's, it's a duo. It's a duo. It's a duo. It, it, it is. Is it a duo? Um, look, it's still a lovely watch. It's just that it's. It, I think it is a bit small there. Uh, the next one along, he's got an IW. Look, he's so he's got a, J, two, a JLC. Hey, Mark, shall Let's Mark, 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 Mark. Mark. Mikey. He's also Mikey. got the classic. Mark or Bear, I come on because <laughs> you're complaining. I got a friend coming over in just a few minutes, so I was just. Is that Uncle trolling. Psycho? No, 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 oh. not Uncle Psycho. Um. But I was just kind of trolling until he came, and he's only going to be here for a few minutes. So I, the plan was to just troll until he was gone and then jump on. But Well, that's uh, why we baited you. What yeah, you just bait, you bait line, hook, and sinker. Got me good. Now we're going to boot you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That, you, you want now to get, get out of here. <laughs> all right. If all, one of you Al's Gold watches or whoever wants to boot Mikey, $2. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. Don't. You know, you you know, know that's, that's funny? That's um, very funny, but don't do it. <laughs> my mom, my mom is, lives at this uh, elderly facility, and when, when they need to go to one end of the fit place, the place is huge. They bring a little uh, vehicle, like almost like a tuk-tuk, four-wheel. A golf and, cart? Uh, uh, yeah, but a glorified golf cart. Like um, at the airport. Anyways, uh, the, the the driver's Mexican or yeah, I believe he's Mexican. He's, he's, you know, his first English or his first language is language is Spanish. And but my mom jokes with him, and so she sits. She says, "I get in, and he he doesn't go anywhere until I yell vamos, vamos, cabrón." And then <laughs> and then he drives off. So we, she just told me that she had this little joke between them that they do, you know. And I said, okay, mom, check this out. Next time, instead of vamoose, yell, andale. <laughs> well, you should tell her to say, andale, cabron. And then he's going to go much faster. Uh, I, don't, I don't know Spanish well enough. I just know my dad <laughs> used to yell, andale, andale, every time. Well, that's because of Speedy Gonzalez speak. used to say, andale. But andale, cabron yeah. means, let's go, asshole. <laughs> yeah, let's go, andale. Come on. And, and I said, he will laugh. He, he will uh, laugh. Andale, cabron. Let's go, asshole. <laughs> andale, pinche cabron is let's go, fucking asshole. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Danny. Oi, 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 oi. Joining Mark, us. Mark, Mark, people. Oi. <laughs> Mark, you are an ignorant bastard. I texted you last week oi. and you didn't even text oi. back. Yeah, because you're a pain in the ass. ass. You're, you're a pain in the ass and you ask stupid questions on WhatsApp. That's why. How do you ask you a stupid question? I'll see if you've seen that film. You might like it. I don't remember. You fucking know. Well, hold on, I'll look. I archived you. It was like a block off you. I'm going oh, to block you now. archived you. I did. I like it. I mean, we, uh, we should, Danny, we should what happened? Down the dick pic request? And you're very you're sensitive. You know, for, a straight, for a straight man in the SAS, you are very sensitive. <laughs> hey, 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 Mackie, Mackie, I feel the same way about Rolex. He asked me dumb <laughs> questions. He asked me dumb questions. You just don't feel like answering it, do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's full of shit, Archie. I don't ask him dumb questions. I fucking tried to recommend oh, it. Here it is. Hi, like, Mark. Hi, it's Mark. got oh, puffs in oh, it, and it's okay. got dogs in okay. it. Let, let, me read you you like? this. let me read you this. Let me All read right, you this. This is comment. good. This is good. Hi, Mark. Hope you're doing well. Watched a film the other day called Dogman. You should watch it. I reckon you will like it. Listen, I'm in that fucking movie. So if you actually That's watched the movie, you would have fucking Mark. seen me. And Mark, it's got dogs in it, and it's got puffs in it. Because I'm fucking in it. I'm fucking in that movie. Have you seen it or what? You can fuck yourself. I'm in that movie, Danny. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, <laughs> You're a movie star, Mark? Yes, I'm yes, in I'm Where is that movie? Where can you yeah. watch that? Movie? Are you being serious, Mark? It's a, yes, I'm, you didn't watch the whole fucking movie, clearly, because I'm in it. Where is that I, movie I, I, I available? I thought you were taking pics. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, Danny, I love you. Hopefully you know this. 
Okay, um, I'll try again. Where is that movie available? Okay, okay, listen, listen. It's a. I, I don't know where Mikey saw it, so you should tell us, Mikey. It's a small in, indie film, and Danny. so it, it, it's streaming here yes. and here. Maybe even YouTube. What is it called? Dog Man. Dog. It's about it's about a uh, an old friend of mine who's dead now, and his name was Dick Russell. And he, mm. was, he was a really interesting guy in Louisiana. He trained. Mm -hmm. Generations and generations of dogs down there in the bayou. Interesting. And uh, it's that's really why good. you it's give really Danny a hard time. Yeah, it's a good movie. <laughs> I didn't even you, know that he would have come out. Well, you're asking Wait, me if I've seen it. Meantime, I'm in it, so I'm wondering if you've seen it. <laughs> well, I just fucking saw some gay guys, some pups in it, <laughs> and I see some dogs in it. So I thought, oh, Mac like that. <laughs> 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 well, I didn't know that, Mark. Well done, mate. If you were in that, well, I'm not. For, I, my my segment in that movie lasts about 15, 20 seconds. But you know, no oh, one you know which, which part I'm going to find it. <laughs> yeah, Danny, <laughs> you know what to do. You know what to do. Exactly. You fucking diva, Mark. I didn't know you were a fucking film star. Hey, listen, if you want me to sign an autograph, I will. But don't ask me if I've seen my film. <laughs> Will you sign my you tits? Even in the so credits? that's why you're saying. So that's why you're saying you're asking me daft questions, whereas I were being genuine. Have you seen it? Exactly. I didn't realize you were in anyway, it. We're still friends on Instagram. Yeah. We, we, Danny, that's how dare you? He was an extra. He was uh, the forty. <laughs> I wasn't even. Extra. I wasn't even an extra. I was like you basically. Didn't even have a speaking part. You can't. No, no. I had. I had a line. I did. I did have a line, <laughs> but I did not have to join SAG in order to in order to speak my line. Brilliant film though, Mark. It is, it is a brilliant film. Yeah. No, the guy was the guy was great. He I don't want to say too much more about him, but let's just say he was he was a quirky and interesting individual. So they made a, you know a film about him and and it's interesting because he was interesting. Let me ask you, would he get Ross's humor? Oh no, he he would he, he like might he might he might he might lead the lynch mob. <laughs> really? Actually, you know, he was a pretty liberal guy, given the fact that his granddaddy was the grand wizard of the KKK down there. In uh, holy shit! In uh, but no, but yes, true. However, uh, Dick, his name was Dick. Dick um, turned away from the family business, which was you know lynching. Have you ever kissed Dick, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> he would not like that one little bit. I could just tell you, he was a manly man. He was a manly man. And, uh, and Fuck he me, Dev. He was a fucking KKK. Fuck he, 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 he was not. He was not. He wrote very open. He, he's also a good writer. You, you can't be friends with Simon Crane? No, can, you people are not listening what to me. What a hypocrite. Now. Let me repeat. His granddaddy was the grand wizard and founder of the local chapter of the KKK, but Dick became the black sheep of the family by turning away from the KKK and renouncing uh. him. So he was okay. Good, okay, good. Well, that's, Michael, that's the right thing to do. He was a good Mark, guy. What's your line in it? A bunch Mark, of what's your line in it? Yes. Yeah. What's, your, what's your line in it? Get into character. Hold on. We want to put you <laughs> full screen. Hold on. You wanna, All right. You want to stroke my poodle? Come on. Come on. You want to be a diva with Danny? This is what you get. Come on, Mark. Go fuck yourselves. Mark, what did you say? Oh. Did you say? Oh, you <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember. I, I, I really, I couldn't tell you. It wasn't a line. I'll find it. You, you find it. It wasn't a line. They were just interviewing me about what I thought. <laughs> he didn't speak he a line. He didn't. He was a gay, gay, gay. He wasn't a KKK. <laughs> he was a gay, gay, gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, JJ. Yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah. 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 Just, let me repeat and, re and clarify. Dick was not a racist member of the KKK. Dick renounced the Klan. Good. He was a member of K gay, 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 which is much better. <laughs> no, no, no. He was not that either. Trust me. He was a very manly oh, yeah. man who loved women and um, and did not have a lot of tolerance for uh, for the weirdness. He would have had zero tolerance for the wokeness of today. You guys would have loved him. You people, Danny, you made uh, Marky turn the camera off. You would have had no time. Met him shy. You met him go already. Yeah, he's yeah. A shy. He's <laughs> shy. Don't <laughs> 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 be shy. Shows your job, shy. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Good times. Good times. Oh yeah, John. John. John Galt. There, he says that's my line, which I don't know what that's from, but it sounds funny. <laughs> That's from Seinfeld. Is when it? Kramer, when Kramer eats the pretzels, 
<laughs> he uses the line, these pretzels, he was supposed to be in Woody Allen's movie and that was his line. These pretzels are making me thirsty. I see. You know, uh, Kramer was based on a real life dude in New York who I ran into once. Yeah, he, actually. Yeah, he I, gives I scores. Uh, that guy's a mental yeah. patient. He hangs he out in front of the soup Nazi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he is nuts. He, he kind of looks like Kramer, and he, yeah. he was just telling everybody around oh, us. I have no was. doubt he was the inspiration. Yeah. Right? For sure, for sure. But I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He used to run around uh, Manhattan all the time. This was what would have been the 90s that I ran into him. Mm hmm. Anyways, Mikey, when we are going to Rebel Stream Archie again? Again? Mikey Rebel Stream? No, yep. me. I yeah. Mikey helped me out. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. See. No, he will not be Rebel Streaming, uh, by the way. And uh, Mikey is loyal to Archie. So um, if you want, you can do it yourself, buddy. I'll get Mikey on. Don't worry about that. Not a fucking chance. Lots tell him, Mike, please. Mikey, tell him. <laughs> On mute. <laughs> I think he's talking on mute. I think he's sleeping. <laughs> Mikey, you're on mute, mute, buddy. You're on mute. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, go hey. fuck your... Um, <laughs> no, you fuck yourself. I, I wasn't rebel streaming yesterday. I was... Um, I Mikey, we Dan were rebels. But me and you were rebel streaming. I in. know, but I, I saw that Danny was on. I, so I thought that I would help support him. You know what? And then Archie's show Can't started. Open my eyes. Do you know what, Mikey? Within I'm a few minutes right of realizing that both streams were running, I said, I got to go. Mikey, why are your eyes closed? Mikey, I appreciate I'm, you coming on, mate. I, yeah, uh, no, I'm really, I, I'm really I thankful no you did come on. And, and I got no problem. I'll, I'll, but if we'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll show up. We'll show up. Yeah. I'll make money. Just sure. Just go if it happens about. like that or whatever, it's all good. I don't care. But, no. you know, just know that, you know, if Archie's on, that's my main place. That's yeah. where... But you know, hey, if I if I spend a couple of minutes on your stream saying hi, um, you know, it is yeah. what it is. Um, well, I'll start at the same time as I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rebel stream like consciously say I'm going over to your stream because I'm gonna jump off of Archie's stream. That's not gonna happen. Mikey, Mikey, yes. I'm only pulling your piss out. You don't give a shit because where he sees it is two wages. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, I love you, Danny. You know, I'll support you. You too, you know, man. If, if your dungeon shows on. I'll be on it if I, if I'm on and uh, I, you know, I'm there. Danny, that makes fun of us. Again, if if Archie show starts and and I, you know, I'll I'll, I'll jump over Archie's. Just damn just, right. Just, Tell just him, Mike. You don't to fuck right yeah. off. <laughs> Mike, say that. Mike, yeah. if, if, if if Bear comes on our stream, we'll uh we'll just we'll just block him. Bad because uh, <laughs> uh, Danny, I don't I like the tone in his I'll voice. I'll support you any, any way I can. You're great. Nice one, Mikey. And I appreciate, I really appreciate you coming on and helping me out. Cool. What can I, what can I watch is this, uh, Archibald? This is Jezil okay, Akut. What one. are we looking at? Okay, so the, this here, I think, is an alarm watch. You love the alarm watch, don't you? It's the memo. No, no, no. I do not like alarm watches. I don't <laughs> like There's twenty. 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 Oh, he's backing me, mate. Read it, Archie. Read the motherfucking uh, super chat. Yeah, Rebel Stream Fund for Danny. Archie, go to bed. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Ooh. So, how do you feel about that watch, Archibald? That Zizil Akut alarm thingy? You know what? I actually like it. Okay. Big size, steel sports. Okay. That's I, not sports. I, I, you I, fucking I, cons I, you consider I, that sports? That's not sports. Yeah, it is. it's not fucking sport. It's a dressing sports watch. Come on, that's a sport watch. Yeah, oh, fuck. That's yeah. not sport. Well, I don't I mean, like it at all. I fucking hate that watch. I'm sorry. See, what I do love is that zenith right next door to it. That is now that's beautiful. a proper zenith, exactly. That zenith is uh not hillbilly uh Tourbillon. That's Tourbillon. the one that, this is the one that I used to have. Although that's I had a, a nice zenith on a nice rubber strap. I rubber. Had it on bracelet and it's the, the steel bracelet is very thin and janky even right? nicer even nicer when you were straight 
you you would not have liked the uh, you would not have liked the bracelet. Sorry, what was that, JJ? No, JJ Hoff. Hoff. Oh, I can't ever tell you to apart. Hoff. What? What? All right. You don't say? worry about. It. I was going to ask. Was, that that had to be back when you were straight. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's, why? Why you consider no, this no, to just be straight? Uh, ironically, Hoff. When I was straight, what I wore was a thirty-four millimeter two-tone. You know, a Rolex date. So maybe I wasn't all that straight in the first place. Hang on. When you were Wait, straight, you wore. Millimeter? What do you mean, thirty-four millimeter? What well, the? That's fuck? what they were back then. Thirty-four millimeter. No, no. By what? There is no date. Like what? What yes, Rolex? There is. Was? I have it upstairs. You yeah, want to? Yeah, it? I, I want to see it. I want to see right, you I'll be right your straight watch. I'll be right back. You know you what? Think you, do you think if he puts that watch on his wrist, he's not gonna like the dick anymore? Maybe I won't like dick anymore if I put it on. Right. There you go. Oh. I, I got the We've got an Amiga. Look at this Amiga in the box here. You're Actually, I know, I know that Amiga. I'm a big fan of that. That's from a museum, museum collection. Museum I collection. I love that Omega. SK859. I was at the nine. store, um, and I, was, I found the perfect you like it, uh, snack for Mark. Yeah. Can you put me Me too. Can you put oh, me Mikey, do you on. like Mark's this Omega? Save it, Mikey. Hold on. Mark's... What do we have there? Um, they're chips for Mark. Boat lovers. Not said boat lovers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boat lovers. <laughs> Look at Mikey <laughs> throwing Goldberg. Holy <laughs> shit. Mike, we'll wait till he gets back. He's going to get this straight watch. Okay, Look make sure Mark. you show him. May oh, my God. You got to show him that. <laughs> so All like, right. I was like, oh, I got to show him for Mark. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and a boy, Mikey. Yeah. Mikey. Yeah, I, I Mikey on fire. Hair. <laughs> the hair is bringing it out on them. It's hot to yeah, it. yeah, I think that Omega's beautiful. I don't know. Yeah, sector dial. The lugs are nice <laughs> and solid. Yeah. Very manly. Wait, Wait, re -re -re introduction. Okay, let's see. For, for I'm here just in time. I'm here just in time to be called manly. Well, to be very honest, it's a beautiful That's watch. It doesn't look yeah. that doesn't look small. No. Well, they didn't, you know. Uh, I it's like the two tone sort of make in the lugs make it look a little bigger than it yeah, actually no, it is. Good. But um, so, do you wear that watch? Like almost never, but once in a while for nostalgia, I pick it. Look, I wore this watch for almost 15 years with no service. Why but, is it so loose on your wrist? That's a good question. Probably stretch, and that's because uh, then uh, you got to be gay, you got to be in great shape, <laughs> and you it's got my good. It's got my Do book. gays actually are gays really much more focused on uh, on uh, on being in shape? Because like, are you kidding? Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Being fat is being fat is really fucking shit. You got me. chubby chases, but bear. Well, yeah, yeah not need... really. That that's you know what? Uh, oh. Be honest with you, gay people are really really uh, more focused on, the main, on listen, you guys have, in shape. You got the mainstream, and you have subcultures. The mainstream get in 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 the in the in your world in the straight world. I'm thin in the, but I'm gay fat. Um, but then, holy shit, the what the fuck are we Archie and I then? Yo, you're gay fat. You're fat. I'm in the same category as you. You're gay fat. No, you're not. We're, we're way fatter than you. Know you. So okay. be, I know you're trying you're to be beast. nice, but all you're, kidding aside, we're beasts, right? Well, we're you are. Fucking, you're bears, but you could you would qualify for, as Archie said, you would qualify for chubby chasers. And by and large, weirdly, chubby chasers are. Very beautiful twinks. I don't know why, but some of those guys. Strange. Yeah. That's strange. So they're they actually really good looking and they chase the fat fox. This is the way it works. But you've, like, I'm, you know, you've never seen Satan's kitten and he's way too good looking for me, but here we I are. I've seen Satan's kitten. You yeah, Curly me. pulled up an old show. Oh, you nice. us the other night. Well, Satan, Satan's kitten is beautiful. It's far better looking than I deserve. Yeah, <laughs> we agree. Well, he's, we he's, he's a lot, a... You're a good man. Well, that there is that, you know. But anyway, I love this. Let me pull. Up. I'll pull me up again, real quick. By the way, Mikey, hold on. Mikey had something he wanted to show you. <laughs> Mark, Mikey, all right, hold on. Oh, all right, Mikey's got something for right. you, Marky. Right. Okay. I, I was at the store and I just before getting rung up, I, I came across these chips and they just uh, made me think of you. So I took a picture of them. <laughs> there we go. 
Butt lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I think that's a uh, popcorn. You know, butt lovers popcorn. Yes. <laughs> these, these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we will. We will. Mark, be by the way, not. Mark, Mark, when you you seen uh, bear, sure, sure. you know our, our good friend Mike, and he was referring to himself as a bear. Did you think there were any gay undertones there? Uh, well, you know, let's 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 remember, Mike has done Mike Mike has done time, and. Uh, no, I'm talking well, Mike, about that. Uh, Mike is bisexual, as far as I remember. So am I. If you buy me something, I'll get sexual. Let's let's go. What do you want? Really? What do you want to get? You Mark, have you ever been to? I, I, I've never been. Oh, like oh, I, oh. But I... You said you were bisexual, Mikey. You said it yourself on these live streams. I, don't I never heard that. that. Me either. I don't know if I said it directly. If I did, maybe I was. Uh, and you by the way, I was talking about Mike Breakovich. Oh, but well, you just dox me, eh? You gotta call him by the. Oh, you gotta call him the bear by his proper name. Well, it's, <laughs> you have it on social. I didn't know you were. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Bear. I'm not that sensitive. No, no. Doxed, doxed. You could easily Mark. dox me. My Instagram's the same Mark. handle. Oh. Mark, do you ever look oh. at a bird's ass and think, "Fucking hell, I go back to being straight"? <laughs> wait, wait. Would somebody translate that, please, or say it much slower? Do you ever look at a chick's ass and think, fucking hell, I won't mind going back straight for a... Yeah, no, not really. No. Does, it, does it not interest you at all? Are you full no. gay now? Yeah, no, not so much. I mean, did you ever look at a boy and go, hey, I could tap that? No. No. But you've well, been, we're in the same you, category. No, we are in the same category because you've been with both. Yeah. But what about a lady boy, for example? Uh, you know, the lady lady boys, especially in Thai, in, in Thailand... And in the Philippines, they're very, very confusing because they're very beautiful, but most of them are are, are basically trans women, but they're pre-op. Here's the here's the thing: some of them I think are very beautiful, and they do sort of uh, tickle my pickle. But the problem is, I I don't love the ones who have the big boob, big fake boobs, because. Big squishy boobs are kind of a you know a problem for me. I know they're not a problem for you all, but yeah. Well, I think that's what separates us, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what separates the men from the boys. A crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. What I would say is, um, what about lady boys? Depends on the lady boy. And by the way, the correct terminology in North America, America. is trans Chick women. With a in Thailand, they prefer the term lady boy, and that's what they use. So mm. what if we make a hat with saying make Mark straight again? <laughs> <laughs> Would that work? I don't I don't think so, man. I think uh, but at might. least we can sell it uh, at, at merch store. Not that Archie ever fucking mentions his yeah. merch anymore. Actually, there's some cool things there and all that. Well, but... well, yeah, you missed it. He had the nerve to say, hey, Lux, why, we should make a Thailand <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> like Archie, you know what? Like you got some cool things there. Do you hate money, Archie? All kidding aside, do Remember you hate all money? Straps? Merch do doesn't you hate money. It, the, no. merch, merch doesn't sell. That's the problem, right, Archie? It just doesn't sell. It doesn't sell. Hey, we got a super chat from well, Stadma. You got to do it right before the meetup, not after the meetup. and burns. Tell us a story about Don Muang. Did you ever get caught with a side chick? Well, you go first. I, did you? I did. I, I I was taking this 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 girl to Singapore for a weekend, and my other lady I was a permanent with. She she was suspicious. Yeah. And the thing is, at the time I was living in Padia, so I I drove down in a taxi. Well, then you were closer to. Yeah, I didn't even pick up the the other girl. She went there herself in her own taxi, so there was no. And then we were busted at the check-in counter. I'd already checked in, and it wasn't it wasn't very nice. Okay, hmm. I didn't know what to do. What do you do? Do 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 you? I just decided. Well, I've already been caught. I may as well still go for the weekend. I'll deal with it when I come back. And I can tell you this, I did come you back and she was show. not happy. She was waiting for me, angry. And I yeah, said, look, she, she let's just... Shit outside. I feel like my stuff would be in the bushes. 
actually had the locks changed before she got back home on my place. I would like to, I'd like to tell the punters, and, and I'm sure, Archie, you can confirm this, that Thailand is the world's capital for penis reattachment surgery. Really? Yeah. It's where most Why, of them are done. Thoughts? Where the fuck did they get them from? Do you have a box of cocks or something like that? No, the Thai women cut them off when they get pissed, and then they're rushed to the hospital for reattachment. No, oh I think it's second shit. thought. That's, that's what I thought you said. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> and if that you don't believe me, a box of cocks. <laughs> if, if you, <laughs> what size would you like put back on? <laughs> yeah, I'd like extra large, please. I'm All not right. trading hey, down. It's never quite the same up. again, Mark. You know that? Mark, it's <laughs> never quite the same again. Well, I'm sure not. It's going to be crooked <laughs> and scarred. <laughs> and, and, you, you know, something is better than nothing, don't you think? Anyway, you guys Google it if you don't. Know, Penis reattachment surgery, Thailand, number one country. And that is because you, but, Thai women, man, you do not mess with Thai women. Isn't the, the, also the, the, um, probably the highest uh, amount of, of penises cut off there as well? That's, so, yeah, yes, Mike. <laughs> that's kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, no. It, well, either that, either that, or Mikey's onto something, and the and the uh, Thai guys are, are opting for two dicks. Maybe everyone there gets two. <laughs> so you just put it on. It's like a lucky day. A lucky day. Thai fucking. Your girlfriend gets mad. She cuts it off, and then ah. you, you grab it, throw it in ice, run to the hospital, and they put it back on. Oh man! Especially put it in ice. Oh, Can we just clarify okay. the procedure in case anyone's watching this? Uh, what What's should you do? Problem? Okay, it's been sliced cool. off. You need to grab it, put it in a cup of ice, and, and yeah. you need to get to the hospital instantly. You, I, I mean, you don't – remember the John Wayne Bobbitt case in America? You don't yeah, have that much time, you know, because it, it, it'll, it'll, start to, it'll start to die. Decompose. Well, and yeah. you'll die too because you can bleed out because there's – I'm just saying, you know. I you know. And by the way, these, these penis, you know, amputations, these uh, spontaneous penis amputations – are uh, by and large Thai women because the Thai women are are much more jealous and much more aggressive than yeah. um yeah, I thought you were talking about like operations than Thai men. Thai men, you know, like if you go to the gay the gayborhood in uh, Bangkok or in um, or in Pattaya, the the gay men are way more relaxed than the women. The women are really aggressive. Mm. Is that why you like a march? Oh, I don't know. I don't Archie, know what Archie, likes, uh, Archie likes uh, pretty much Asian women. That's his... Uh, yes, Asian. Niche. Asian, John. Yeah, but correct me if I'm wrong, Archie. Asian women are passionate, then you don't want to make one angry. Yeah, that's a fair point. Fair point, Marky. Mm -hmm. Did you, you ever think about retiring to Thailand yourself, Mark? No, over and over and over again. And I play it out in my head. You know, I play it out in my head. Where would I, where, where would I go? Thailand, it, to me, it comes down to kind of like between Thailand. <laughs> he wants to swan dive in that box of cocks, Danny. <laughs> 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 Put it on the That's what he's daydreaming about. <laughs> you know, Hoff, I want to hate you a little for that. For that. <laughs> that, was too, that was very good. <laughs> that, was, that was perfect. Perfectly like, so the point your keys in the ball, but putting your dick in the ball, that takes it to another level. <laughs> oh my god, what a, hard, balls, you come in. what a horrible thought. I mean, it, it does remind me of like you know, like a bowl of noodles, which is very common in Thailand. For me, it would come down to Thailand or the Philippines, and they both have their pluses and minuses. Right. Thailand's got more infrastructure and it's actually a little cheaper and it's got better food, but um the Philippines is actually you still. Would, you, would, you would miss US. You could not do it. Uh, oh, I, I, I would go. See, I what I would do is I would snowbird. Right. I, I used to do that before. Yeah. That, well, that's okay. You can, that's 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 different. I but to actually move there completely, not a fucking chance. I don't know. I would love to go try it out for like six months and then a year to just see. I don't know. Like, you would listen, go in the winter. Would you train those? Uh... No, like I just went that roam through the city. Let me let me just put it to you guys like this. If you have a monthly budget of three thousand dollars in either uh Patia, Jom TM, or lots of different parts developed, nice parts of the Philippines, you're gonna All have right. to, you'll have too much money on three thousand a month. You'll have too much money. Really? And, yeah, you'll have too much money. Um rents in Thailand of a really nice condo, 350. And in um, and in like 
the upper crust, like the, the Beverly Hills of Manila, which is called BGC, I don't know, like $600. Wow. Um, it's very, very cheap. The, the primary difference is the Philippines has less infrastructure unless you move to, you know, Beverly Hills. Um, but they, it's English. English is the, uh, the the legal official language, yeah. you know, a lot of English. You know what? That's, that actually starts to make sense. That actually, st you're actually saving money, man. Well, not only that, but in both countries, but particularly the Philippines, but in both countries, age gap relationships are not a problem. Like they revere older people. And so uh, if you go to the right place in either country, they, they want to snap you up as a, as a boyfriend or husband material. So, hmm. yeah. It's, it, it's more important the size of your wallet, Bear. That's right. It's a little transactional in either country, a bit more in Thailand. Um, I, I also think that in Philippines, Archie, you're going to know a lot about this. Thailand is a Buddhist country, and the way of thinking is so vastly different. It's not better. It's not worse, but it's very different culture than ours. You almost can't imagine how a Thai woman or Thai person thinks. It's different than us. And they have the whole culture of saving face, which we do not have. And that's very uh, important in culture there. But um, well, what do you mean by culture of saving face? So, for example, it's Wait, considered it? if you ask a question of a mm -hmm. Thai, of a Thai person or an Asian person, but Thai or Filipino person, and they mm -hmm. don't know the answer, it, they lose face if they don't know the answer, and so they're going to make up the answer. Ah. Uh, if you go to a bar. Like a girl, the titty bar or a boy bar in uh, in either country. What do they call right? the boy bars? Uh, they Is call there them like go a titty boy equivalent. Go go go! go like, yeah, they just call them go go bars, gay bars. Yeah. But if you if you go out with a staff member, um, right. you go back uh, a few days later or the next day, and and you take you want you go out with a different staff member there. Um, ooh, the original one has lost face because apparently they weren't good enough to keep your interest, and so. Ah. And so there, it's going to create drama. I mean, you might get hit over the head with a bottle. Um, I mean, it, it could create a lot of drama in, in either country. On the other hand, if you go in there, and uh, let's keep it the titty bars to keep you know people like uh, AD never calling comfortable. If you go in there to a titty bar and, and you're going to take a girl out of the bar and you tell her, I'm a butterfly, I drink from all the flowers, I'm going to take out all your girlfriends next, but you're first then it's okay because she tells everybody he's going to take everybody and, and she doesn't lose face for not being good enough to keep his attention. Interesting. But this goes with everything. You know, there was an American shot and killed in uh, Cebu city, uh, the real, real rich part of the Philippines. Um, and what he did was he pissed off a Filipino rapper. He disrespected him. He made him look stupid and weak in front of his friends. And, uh, and, and, and it was a big muscular American MMA fighter. And what that what that rapper did, who was half his size, size, is he went and got his car. He met that dude outside, leaving the bar, and he put three bullets into him. Happens Ooh. every night. Holy why? Shit. Because he lost face in front of all his friends, and he yeah, was but that's a, not a Thai thing. That happens probably six times a night in New York. Yeah, I'm just like saying that's a scenario, real common. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's just a for different reasons, Hawk. For different yeah. reasons. That was an extreme reason. And half ego, way, no, that, isn't it like that, ego at the end of the day? Or am that I can happen anywhere. That can happen anywhere. But if you yell at, a, at, a, at the owner of a restaurant because you had to wait 20 minutes for your meal, they got it wrong, but they wanted to charge you anyway. If you yell at the owner of the restaurant in, in America, you're just going to get thrown out. Over there, you might get killed because that might be the son of the mayor and you made him look stupid in front of all the staff. So you just don't know. It's a different mentality. Yeah. Um, but the Philippines is a Catholic country, so it's a little closer to our way of thinking. That's I always that's stay just... humble out of town. I, it's smart because yeah, another super chat stud muffin two dollars. So Arts, did the side chick stay with you or leave? Actually, she left. She was oh, afraid. This of is breaking news. No wonder you're uh, looking well rested. Hmm. Not yeah, now, not now, dude. This is past. An old this was when I was caught at the airport. This was 20 years ago now. I, I rarely would see in, in Bangkok, you have two airports. You have two airports. You have Damyong and you have Zvanapum. Zvanapum there is the big international airport. It's big and fancy. And then you have the kind of... Well, it used to be the airport, but it, it was replaced. And then Damyong is more... Marky Patel Philip says he wrote a bad Google review. Is his life in danger? 
Well, if you do that in either country, depending on what you where you left that bad review, particularly in Thailand, you're subject to um, uh, being blacklisted in that country and being sued for defamation. You cannot leave a shitty review of a bad hotel or restaurant. You can't do it. Really? It's not like America. Um, it's not like America or Bears North America. Tomorrow. They don't have the same freedom of speech. Moreover, if you disrespect the king in Thailand, you're going to jail. And even if you did it on Facebook huh. or YouTube. Wow. Yeah. So when um, when the king's anthem, when, when I go to a movie, and Archie will know this, when I go to a movie anywhere in Thailand and they play the king's anthem and everybody stands up, I stand up. Mm. Well, yeah, and, that's normal. Yeah, but, and I'm quiet and respectful. When in a room, you do as Romans do, of course. That's right. When, if you drop Thai money, all of it has a picture of the king on it. If it's starting to blow away, you just chase it. You don't step on it because the foot is considered unclean in Thailand. And if you step on the face of the king, it's, it's technically and literally a crime. It's an arrestable crime, depending on how pissy the cop is. Hmm. So it's not sure. it's tough. just let that tie by. You better go. be careful. That being said, it's not hard to stay on the right side. You know, Ron, Ron, I am with you. I have, I have never been in Bangkok, and uh, I kind of have yeah, that same runner, That's feel. exactly what I think of too. It's so funny you guys say that. Right. That is that's my my perception. But let me tell you what the, the people there are very smiley. They welcome you with outstretched arms. They, they, Thailand's called the land of smiles for a reason. They're friendly. It's cheap. The food's amazing. So as long as you follow some basic rules, and the biggest one is don't be an asshole. As long as you're not an asshole, you, you're going to have an amazing time there. If you think you're going to be an asshole and yell at a cab driver or get up in his face, there'll be 30 of those little guys on you like a wasp. And you know how we what, play. What if you didn't have cash on you and your credit card wasn't working in the airport? Yeah, and you had to get on an airplane, and you started screaming. And, and, what do and I then do? you start screaming, and you and, the and you say, face. "Yeah, I'm well, Australian. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> what do you do? What like what do, would you get arrested? You think or well, not in Heathrow. In Heathrow, they'll actually give you a cab. No, ride no, not in Heathrow. If you do We're that, talking about if he would have had that little outburst, that little temper tantrum in Thailand. Yeah, you could be invited into the back room for a, for an attitude adjustment. And remember, uh, yeah, I hope you do it well, for a good content. Yeah. Guys, the, the 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 Thai people uh, and even the men, they're very small. They're tiny. We're we're all three times their size. But the way we grow up playing baseball, they grow up playing fighting Muay Thai, which yeah. is kickboxing. They they learn it from the time they're four years old. And so any one of those hundred pound guys can. Well, have, can they fight the sumo wrestler? No, that you'd be un. You'd be unconscious in seconds. Yeah. And not only that, Archie, Archie, it, it'd be like that do not know is the master of sumo wrestling. <laughs> Listen, Archie, not only you... that, you fight one tie, and all of a sudden you're fighting like 30 of them. I see. But Here we go. We've got a super yeah. chat from Stud Muffin, $5. The point is that Asians aren't as soft as people think. Violence occurs in Asia and gets swept because of image Gangs and government go hand in hand. Hmm. That's a proper reading, man. Tonight you read really well. Must be because mm. there's no many super chats, so you're actually kind of paying attention to the ones that are coming in. I love those books. I love both those countries. They're great countries. Honestly, think of a place where, what if you were, I mean, this isn't my situation, but what if you were retired on Social Security, and let's say your Social Security was the American national average, which is like, what, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars So let's say you got 1800 okay. bucks coming in. You have okay. maybe 10, 12, 15,000, $25,000 in savings, and that's all you have. Okay. You're, you're well, as have, many as many Americans and Canadians have. That's not unusual. It's yes. so hard to live in these countries like that, though. It's very, very hard to live. Harder here, really, because our medical costs are, are a bit higher than yours. So can you can you make it? Yes. Are you going to thrive? No. Will you be able to have a girlfriend and pay for uh, you, you know the two of you? Will you be able to travel? Will you have nice accommodations? Will you have great weather? No. But 
in the right place in either the Philippines or Thailand on that eighteen hundred dollars a month, you can you can you you can live quite decently. One of my good friends, actually, I'd say my best friend, it goes to Colombia all the time, like literally four or five times uh, a yeah. year minimum. It's another right? place that's similar, yeah. Yes, and he's fully. He's about to retire. <laughs> And Med Medellin or where? Medellin? Cali, he goes all over, but Cali's okay. kind of where he's been looking to settle down. And he's looking at a place and trying to buy a place. And it's a beautiful penthouse apartment, 85 grand. Yeah, beautiful. And that's what you and can do. In Colombia, what you have to be a careful There's a ton of retired NYPD uh, officers that live in that building. And that building where he's looking to buy is actually all American expats that uh, moved over. Oh, yeah, that, Colombia is a huge country for that, which, and logically, I would also go there because I speak Spanish. But um, you know what? Um, the dating scene there is a little bit different, a little bit difficult. What you have to watch out for is scopolamine because they will roofie you, and that, that's very, very yeah. common there. They use scopolamine. What, what, what's scopolamine? What's that? Scopolamine is a, uh, it's a drug used as an anesthesia. It comes in liquid and powder, and basically there's been any number of foreigners who have woken up with their... Um, it's like truth serum. It's like anesthesia. You can talk, you can walk, but you'll do whatever they tell you. And if you if they ask you for your bank pin, you'll give it to them, and you'll they'll just. Who the hell invented this shit? Anesthesiologist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anesthesiologist. But it's abused, and it's abused quite a bit in Colombia. So you just. <laughs> Here we go. We got a super chat. Stud muffin, two dollars. Arch. Are you scouting apartments in Asia? Okay. You know, I got a teaser. I want to give you guys a bit of advice. Not China. It's dangerous there now because they'll they'll just keep your money. Instead of scouting for an apartment, why don't you try and find someone who already has an apartment? <laughs> <laughs> that be. And you know, I follow. Oh God, it comes with an apartment fully paid. Does not know you're a homosexual? <laughs> I'm a homosexual. Okay, homosexual. <laughs> it's a great term. Yes, <laughs> yes. Was that actually oh, she that to me. Oh, she told did, me that. He did say it, right? He came up with that. Yes. Well, it actually, no, it existed before he, he didn't invent it, but he, he, he introduced me to the term. Mm. I'd never heard of this shit before. And I thought, fuck, that's absolutely perfect for me. Good one. Because, I mean, I can't, I'll be honest with you, Bear, I can't yeah. afford an apartment. Yeah. Yeah. I can't afford taxes, rent, or... You can afford all of that in John Tien. Or I don't know your premium oh, cheese and wow. ice cream habit. We've got another super chat here. Let me just catch up on these super chats. <coughs> Let me catch up on these super chats here. We've got another one from Stud Muffin. The point is that Asians aren't as soft as people think. Violence occurs in Asia and gets yeah. swept because of image. Gangs and government go hand in hand. no. It's actually reported there's been people who've had um, – yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't think they hide it. I don't think they hide violence that occurs. Um, I disagree with that. Uh, the side chick, that was my um, – the side chick itself there, that was from 20 years ago. Yeah, that kind of killed the relationship. And I wasn't – it was a bad time I was going through and uh, – very shortly after that, I went back home to Australia, broke and penniless. Actually, not broke. I would say minus. Absolutely. I dreamed of having a zero net worth, Marky. Because <laughs> you're sub-zero? Sub. On your subprime, Marky. Subprime. Subprime. On your superannuation alone, you can live like a king in the right place. It's not where you are. <laughs> but the thing is, the thing you got to remember is. It's, um, yeah. We You've got to uh, remember, mm -hmm. always be polite, always be nice. Yeah, Just, so you know, it, 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 I'd be honest with you. Sometimes it's easy to lose your you, – the, the temperature doesn't help. Because it's hot, you get irritable, you get sweaty, you get a bit of chafing if you're a little bit of a larger guy like me and Marky, a bit of chafing. Um, and your best thing yeah, to do is you be polite. Why Marky don't get chafing? He said he's a larger size guy. I have a well for a gay person. I have a thigh gap, Archie. We're not in the same category. Like, let's count chins. 
<laughs> Look, you've got stud muffin two dollars you obviously don't know what happens in japan well i've been to japan numerous times what happens in japan stud muffin yakuza let me see if you have your pinkies the yakuza is not as powerful as it used to be they've kind of pussied out mm. well now you can't go back <laughs> all i'm saying is it's called financial arbitrage you arbitrage your income in western currencies and you arbitrage it in southeast asia where the, where the can i just say that i don't agree with archie's statement regarding the wonderful yeah. organization mentioned <laughs> That's right. we disavow there there half and myself completely disavow i like oh, that. thank you that was purely said for entertainment purposes. The, oh, the, so that was uh, the, the boys at the, the third. Yeah, Florida. I would like to apologize. I, I only meant that as a joke. Come on, guys. Did you see that live stream? Are you so worried about the live streamers in Thailand who, who got arrested? Did you see the live streamer that went to Japan and started fucking around? The Yakuza mm -hmm. got him. The Yakuza what happened got him. to him? And they made him, they beat the shit out of him and made him apologize. On it is my video. dream. It is my uh, dream. He was very, he was an asshole. It's a my he dream an to see. Absolute asshole. Yes. It's a my dream to see Tim Wright in that situation. Okay, he, he went to the, they had the suicide forest, which. No, oh, no, yeah. that, that was Logan Paul. That's a complete different story. Th yeah, no, so that's a complete different year. dick. Sorry, that's yes, a complete exactly. different dickhead. That's right. I mean, the, the thing you've got to realize is in Japan and Korea, they have a lot of societal pressure put on the individual. There's pressure to conform, pressure to work, pressure to achieve. And if you're not that smart, i.e., me or bear these pressures what do we fucking do we have failure bear, have are you in the not so smart category bear i just i just want to check that reference i'm okay with that i'm okay with that all right just checking i i, I mean know. i mean what do you do when you you, you can't always get 100 percent in a maths exam not all asians are super smart remember that not all and not everybody can win the first prize right so it's 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 it, it, it is a very, very Hard-working people, though, man. Hard-working people. And, and the problem is a lot of these people, they feel a lot of societal pressure to conform, to be something. Do you know what the minimum wage is? I want to be. Our minimum wage in the Philippines. you know what it is? 100 pesos a day or something? No, well, it's a little more, but it's six bucks. That works out to about six bucks a day. So there are an awful lot of Filipinos who are living on 150 to $250 a month. Mind you, they live in family groupings where they all pool their money and resources. But I'm just saying, if a Filipino can survive on 300 bucks a month, we, you know, you, you don't want to live that lifestyle. But on 1500, you can make it. Right. Yeah. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Here we go. Here, stud muffin. Asian governments act as a gang and use any resource to get what they want even using real gangs to catch people. Yakuza and triads are extended government arm. Um, I don't, I don't yes. know if that's really... You know what? Yakuza... Oh, here. Like, look at the mafia killed JFK. It's the same shit everywhere. Governments we are the biggest gang. Know that. But the thing is, the problem with the mafia... Okay, if you look at any of these organized crimes, it's because the system in place is not working in places. For example, Italians who came to America found it really hard to get ahead. They were really discriminated against. They were treated like garbage. If you had a problem, you couldn't really go to the local police and, and get them to help you. You were really fucked. You know, so, in, New York, in New York City in the early uh, 1900s, when the Italians were coming on, you know, in great numbers, uh, all sorts of establishments used to put a uh, sign in the window, Nina, N-I-N-A, Nina, no Italians need apply. And that was code for we don't hire Italians here. Right. And it's, it's really quite awful. It's really quite discriminatory. And um, discrimination is not just something against colored people. It oh. happens against Nana. Um, a lot. And this is, I'll tell you something. I had a guy who was really passive aggressive towards me. He thinks, oh, you're a white guy, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, my ancestry, I'm not Anglo-Saxon. My ancestors had it tough. 
they were Eastern Europeans. Nobody they were liked cabbage Eastern eaters. Europeans. We are cabbage eaters, Archie. Right there with okay. you, except for we didn't eat pig. But other than that, there you go. You know, he was very, very tough. It's very it must tough. Be tougher for us because the only decent Mark, thing. To be was... honest, Mark, the pig at, at, at in the olden days there was only for treats anyway. The, the uh, pr pr primary food was cabbage, beans, and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to say. The only decent meat there was was pig. <laughs> you right. Know? And right. we didn't even get that. So now I understand that you're saying, you know, rarely could the Ukrainians and the Serbs and the Latvians and the Lithuanians that we are, that I am and we all are, you know, not, we couldn't afford the pig. Correct. Anyway. Well, well then maybe, that's exactly maybe it was easy to give the pig up. Maybe it wasn't a big deal I, to give up the pig when nobody could afford one anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. Maybe God was and just I, the Jews. Yeah, I got to tell you something, Bear. It's um, it, it's a very tough world at times. People don't realize how tough things are, and and we're in this luxury sphere. We're buying expensive wristwatches. Is any of this stuff really necessary? Is it necessary? Um, is this the actual luxury channel, or what the fuck is going right? on? Right. What happened with the boxes? The talking about unnecessary luxury garbage. I actually have sold a number of them off. The boisterous box, thank God. I have actually sold off. Both of And I also sold off the roll, the boisterous roll. I sold both of those off. Yes, sir. You Mark, Mark you didn't hear. Archie Luxury had a special edition collab with Bosphorus. It's called the <laughs> Boisterous. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it now. Stud Muffin. Stud Muffin. We got a super Mike, chat. Mikey, you here. still with us, Mikey? Mikey? Mikey is muted and gone. All right. Okay. Just checking. I just want to know if he's there. $5. Asia relies on tourism, so they have to keep peaceful, clean image to save face so people keep coming for culture and sex too. I don't think that's true. Asia is so amazing. You can't, it, it's, it's, it's one of the great joys of travel. Travel is the fact you can see different cultures and countries it's not right. necessarily just sex tourism I, I think thailand is a central hub of asia we're right in the middle of asia where the stones throw to what, hong kong what cultural, Singapore. Activities, what cultural, cultural activities, activities have you done in in thailand on this trip i went on a tuk tuk ride now that's you know public transportation what else cultural have you been to the temples? Have you been to Wat Arun? Have you ridden? I went on... to Jim Thompson House. Oh, did you? Was that's that? a, that's a beautiful place. That's I love that place. Yeah, it's right next to Mab and Kong. And did you get on the the one of those river boats for like ten baht to just go up and down the river? I'm looking at doing that. They're a great thing. Super cheap and uh, and lots of fun. He's cheating, Mark, yeah. and I'm going to explain to you why. Mrs. Lai is a very art artistic uh, person and uh, attracted by art and culture. Mm -hmm. uh, so he has no choice. He's being forced. Correct. Yeah. Otherwise, he'd be, going to fucking, he'd be going Believe for massages you. every day and eating. That's pretty much his fucking I feel, dream. I feel like that, that toothpick is working out some of the last night's tad pie right Pad tie right. I've also here. run out of money, Marky, completely. Did you listen to the uh, Google uh, stream? It's you gone, 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 gone on bills, gone, gone, gone. Did you mm. give Suck it? Did you contribute to the Sucky fund? That's actually something that I'm going to oh, be doing. Yes, the convert okay. fund. Just want to remind you because I know yeah, you no, I've got a lot of heat if you let that go. Archie, look up a restaurant in uh, in Bangkok. Hey, here's my, my pad when I'm doing accounting. Hmm. And I've got there. Is that in Bond? Is Blondie. That, is that in Bond? You can see that. Blondie, Suki, 100. I've got, I've got to pay that. I have got not got an X across next to it. It has to be done. Are those swastikas? There you go. You see? So, no, that's just crossing off. I'm double checking. I've paid it. Oh God! You're not going to believe who's Clyde Anderson. Hey, what you doing, Mark? What do you think? I don't know. Doing something with uh, Satan's kitten? Yeah, Satan's sure. Kitten? Let let let's go with that. Sure. Bring him on. 
Bring him on. I'm going to bring him on. on. I'm, I'm on. I'm on Archie. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. You know, you you should probably appear I'm here. Appointment, you know. I feel like you uh, should appear in order to make penance for Rebel Wilson streaming the other day. What about the day before that? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get the mug. Stand by. No, no I'm not going to watch. No, 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 no. I'm not I'll send you a, I'll send you, I'll text Alexa, you. A, Alexa, I'll text <laughs> Alexa, I'll shout out to Curly for that great chat. I'll, I'll text you a video of me rubbing the mug. You won't be able to ignore it. The power. Away from a computer. Alexa, video. It's going to be on your phone. The power of Christ compels you. All right, hold on. All right, I hung up on him, but now I got to go get the mug and make a video and text. This is a lot of trouble. Are you sure you want me to do this? Ah, uh, just forget it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, nah, he doesn't seem enthusiastic. He Sometimes he, yeah, he'll come on and play Galaga. He's gotten really vicious. Although yeah. I have to say, Mark, I, I do feel like in some form I have to apologize to Clivers. I've always given him a hard time for all the negative stuff and mean things he said about Archie. But this Thailand trip truly pushed me to the limits that now I understand. <laughs> you're, on, you're on board with the Clivers. Let, let, let me look. You know, I got to explain this, Hoff. And by the way, there's a new hit show in the Archiverse. Is there? Let's go Blondie there. Blondie and Clyver's show. Maybe we need to watch that immediately. <laughs> Look, right. here's here's the deal with here's the deal with the Archiverse. You watch Archie, you become a fan. You 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 get on the first couple times and you feel like, oh my god, I'm on Archie. It feels like really special. So you become a regular, and then over time, familiarity breeds contempt, and you realize. Jesus, fuck, I'm just giving Archie all this time. And then Archie just becomes lazy, vicious, vinyl, pear-shaped, doesn't love you, says he does, perfect, but doesn't really. I just got a note from I heard what he said to Lux. I just got a note from Yeah, no, he'll be abusive and nasty. He'll do terrible things. Not, not so much lately. He, I feel like he's on medication. I feel like Archie's medicated now. But Archie will do something to provoke you to tell him that, you ha that he has no friends. Uh -huh. And then you'll become enemies with Archie, and you'll be mad at Archie. And then you will boycott Archie and you will rebel stream Archie, but you will secretly miss Archie and you just fucking have to come back. And it's so goddamn annoying, but I just can't quit you. That's the that's the long and the short of it. Look, I got a from Corrado Galizia. Corrado Galizia, Galizia. Corrado Galizia. Archie's pad is like a briefcase. Given instructions. Satan's kid. Oh, you, you got to uh, give him a proper one. This is for Karate. Archie's pad is like the briefcase of IOUs in Dumber and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Remember that movie? In Dumb and Dumber. Right. And Curly says the Work best breakout me, show is stuff. Russ, Rachel, Brady, and Jamie. There's a lot of shows going on in the Archiverse. Curly had one hell of a uh, barn burner last night on Horology mm. Mulligans. He was daring Timmy uh -huh. or OC or Ocean, any of those guys, to strike his channel. Fiery stuff. Chinese. Mark, he's ringing for Chinese. What would you get there, Bear? What recommendations? I would say we want some sweet and sour pork. We would like. Um, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Hong Kong style sweet and sour pork for sure, for sure. I also like yeah. barbecue pork. Barbecue pork is really yes. nice. Duck, we need some duck. Oh, duck for sure, Archibald. Duck Peking is duck. a must. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, what else we want, Archie? We want some dumplings. We need some dumplings. Yeah. Dumplings. Pan fried yeah. or steamed? Steamed. I prefer Pan steamed. But you yeah. know what? I, I, I knew won't, that's I, where I, I was going to fall complain. off. I won't complain. Let's have both. Let's have both. Just for variety. Can we have both? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. And uh, when as Archie a says one, yes to a request yeah. like that, that means Nelson Oliveira hit him with some serious PayPal for that lunch. Mm. I think I think Nelson, uh, 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 as per as per my watching Marcelo's live stream, has committed to one month not supporting Archie financially. Yeah, he's very upset. There's a lot yeah. of people yeah. I noticed yeah. on Marcelo's. 
Nelson, Nelson, you need to uh, you need to text him. You need to talk with mm -hmm. him. Nelson was not pleased with your performance in Thailand, and uh, you need to fix that. Mm. Just so you know. And he's Only been making it rain that. over there too. So maybe a maybe a text, maybe a call. That'd be nice. After yeah, the show, yeah, good idea. after the show, you know. Yes. Like I don't know why Nelson's upset. I love Nelson Olivier. Well, he's not upset because he's not upset. He just wants to teach you a lesson. What's the lesson? Oh, I see. The lesson is that uh, the Panthers uh, have a certain expectations. Well. <laughs> and he's a pain punter. Oh. See, that's the difference. Yeah. Like, well, if you if you get a complaint from someone who's not a donor, you can tell him to fuck right off. But when you have a pain punter, you gotta listen carefully. Maybe the trick is to lower those expectations just a little bit. Ah, uh, if they pay, they don't necessarily have to. Mm. It just depends. Does R R G want to start losing those lunches out every week that Nelson was paying for? No, we don't want to lose them. They were great incentive for a lot of people. Enjoyed them. Have you been to the Succumbent Hotel? Where was that place with the crab claws? That was a soup guitar. I can't afford that. Uh, well, Mrs. Lai can. Yeah, but it's not nice. It's not mm -hmm. nice to ask them to pay exorbitant. Mm -hmm. The other lady had. Well, you could eat street food out. for a couple of days. Eat street food for a couple of days. Save the budget. Yeah, 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 why not? Uh, actually, that's a good idea. Go to the night market, bring food home. Yes. Yeah, no, no, I've done that, man. I've gone to 7 Eleven, bought noodles, and used that. Yeah, 7 Eleven in Thailand is surprisingly good. It's not like America or Canada. Oh, I'm so excited, excited for this. I know, you know what, how I know, actually. Uh, what's his name? Loxy, Loxy did a gonzo in one of those, and they had uh, so many cool just. things. Yeah. Man, it was really int actually it was really interesting. And you know what? They will cook shit for you there. If you buy something that's supposed to be eaten hot, you you pay for it, and then the um, the cashier will take it and and, and microwave it, it for you. Oh. There you go. Saints Kitten says they do that in America, but I, I, I was going to say the the only difference is in America they actually let us mm -hmm. use the microwave. Is that right? Nice. I did not know or, that. Didn't have yes. to pay for like the a, guy was like, "You're fine." Oh wow! You got free. You got Satan's Kenton is telling me that he used to get free Seven Eleven from a from a gay dude. No, free Seven Eleven. Wait, come here where they can hear you. Why did you get free Seven Eleven then? Because I used to go there twenty four seven. And they just gave you free shit. Yeah, I've been going twenty four seven to Seven Eleven. Never got anything fucking for free. That's what I'm saying. I feel no, like Seven Eleven guys. If you're nice to them, talk to them and stuff like that. They usually hook you up. Yeah. See, hmm. some of us know you're nice to customer service. <laughs> Certainly not. All right. <laughs> Archibald Super Chat, big boy. Here we go. Super Chat, Super Chat. Where have you been? We've got one here from Patel Philippe, $5. And um, pull, please pull up the Archie, the article sent to your WhatsApp and thought thanks. Okay, this is sent to my WhatsApp. I'm just pulling it up now. This is from the zeal, the zeal. Uh, let's get it up now. Finding it. That's what she said. <laughs> Tan said, <laughs> "When did he send me this?" He said he put the it monochrome. I did that one yesterday. Please put send articles sent to your WhatsApp and thoughts. Give him your thoughts on the article. I'm just. Trying to gather them. them. Trying to think nothing's yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> That's you know what? Although that is three stooges. The the Stern. Stern. Howard Stern, right? That's right. That's right. Fred. I'm trying to think and nothing happens. Okay, nothing's come through. Fred's the talent behind the man. Without question. Um, Baba Booey. Oh, here it's coming in now. Here we go. It's monochrome. Yeah, yes, it I, is. I, I see you got that new SIM card. La Flunky. You promised us when the Google money came in on the 22nd. 
Yeah, exactly right. I'm going to be hitting the streets very soon to get a get a coffee for you boys. Here we go. Mm. Well, the new that comes regulated in than that link. Sorry. When you do that fucking nonsense, don't bother doing it. Go for coffee after the show. We missed you, Bear. I said <laughs> it's stupid. Nobody new, wants you to new. go get a coffee. Just continue the show. Don't worry about that shit. You get a bad fucking signal. You fucking Here we go. Ah, fuck. Or, uh, Starbucks. or coffee club. This is the look. I went and bought the sim actually, Bear. I'll tell but you. But isn't honestly, this Silverstein but... collab? That's still stupid. I don't like it. Okay. I don't want you to do it. Fuck it's it. Sort of if look... anyone wants you to do it, they can super chat for you to go for coffee. Okay. It looks like a second grade project. It's stupid. I, 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 the I, there's something I always like about the, the, uh, the Elaine Silverstein. So each piece uh, conceived by. Yeah, Elaine S Silverstein. Yeah, yeah, that's a Silverstein. That's right. I said you it like five it? times. No, I don't like this one. No, I had I, a Silverstein watch. I bought it from uh, Federico. I'd take that over that Moser Apple watch any day of the week. Really? Mm. Mm. Without question. Zero mm. I like that Moser. How much do you think this piece is, guys? More than I can afford. Oh actually each piece priced at sixteen thousand excluding tax. Half that's that's a small purchase for you. All right. Let me rephrase that. More than I'd pay. There we go. That rings more true. It's not ridiculous, is it? Sixteen thousand. You rather buy it. Looks eight, like it has a hillbilly tourbillon. Yeah, it's just an it's open heart. Tourbillon. Is it? Huh? Or is it an open heart? That's oh, a tourbillon. All right. Wait, that's it not a, a tourbillon, tourbillon. At 16 grand. Yeah, really? Come that's on. actual tourbillon? For that's tourbillon. like an open heart. It's it an guys? open heart. It's hillbilly tourbillon. So it's a hillbilly tourbillon. Yes, yes, yes. No, that's hipster tourbillon. <laughs> Low regulator tourbillon. It's a new regulator tourbillon, Bear. Really? Forbin can of that on order. It's called a regulator because the regulator blue thing only does minutes. The hours are at the 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You're right. And that's a second hand around the tourbillon, the yellow, the squiggly line. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind this, actually, Bear. No, I, I honestly... Oh. I, I, I think it's and look at the way the case shape with the lugs out like that. It's so oh, unique. It's very unique. I think it's great bang per buck. I mean, I wouldn't buy one. I didn't say that, but the tell confirms this is tourbillon. That's actually very cheap for the Swiss tourbillon. Yeah. Tell me Daniel Katz on over on Tim Stream comedic legend Daniel Katz. Yeah. What about him? This would be a great watch for him. Yeah, you know what? You're right. What the fuck time is it? Uh, it's eight fifteen or fourteen, correct? Oh Jesus, that's horrible. And thirty seconds. <laughs> right. Actually, it's just, it's just horrible. You have to look in three different directions. It takes you five minutes to tell the time. By yeah, the time, you're, the time you're, is, right. you're right. By the time it's you not. Don't by the time watch like that to tell the time, Marky. By the time you know what time it is, it's not that time anymore. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. God. It passes. Yeah. yeah. No loom. The thing is, we got a super chat from Marcus Mandel, two euros. Love you, Bear. Love Archie, too. Thank you very and much, got, Marcus. I love you, too, man. Appreciate your kind words. We got Ron the Actuary, $5. Please pay Mookie module video when done with this article i gotta be honest with you um i i don't hate this watch i actually i like the funky colors that alan seberstein he does all these sexy car i like it i think it's i think it's good it's pretty amazing bang per buck it's amazing it's available really? what's, re what's resale gonna be on this archie using your your old standard Hey, they oh, uh, well, like 60 of them. Exactly. How? So it's created a market that nobody knows about or wants. 
I, I, yeah, we've created a market that no one knows about or wants. Look, ask Clive about rarity with the rare birds and how quickly they sold. Yeah, but they were Rolex. They didn't sell well. Didn't didn't they? Even they that took a while. Either. You know, well, that, he wanted premium pricing too. Arch, did you ever like those Ike pods? Watch no. Them. No, did you? Yeah. They were kind yeah. of funky. They're kind of I novel. I always did. No, I'm going to play that movie. Like when I'm completely. All right. I'll be what are we going to do about one? this? What Module. Do about this? Actually, I don't know if I've got these anymore. Has no. he deleted them? I think them? there's a Mookie section in Brands. No? Hold on. No, no, M Mookie's deleted it. Oh, it's gone, yeah. yeah. You know what, Ron? You got to pick something else, buddy, like Baby Cow. Pick else. Mookie deleted it? You can always go to Mookie's channel. Uh, uh, Mookie, oh, yeah, Mookie retired, guys. Sorry. Mookie has retired, boys. I forgot. Shit, man, I'm getting old. Uh, so sorry about that, uh, Ronnie, but Mookie... Mookie's old. Mookie's very, very old, guys. And uh, fuck it. He just decided to uh, move to, leave. to retirement. To retirement. Wow. Amazing yeah. stuff. His channel is gone because of some <laughs> fucking asshole who wow, uh, hard to hear that, decided to fucking strike his channel. Whoever that is, you go fuck yourself. I know. I pray we find out. And uh, and then, you know what? Uh, the guy tried to fix things up, and it just turned out to be too complicated, too difficult, and uh, he decided to just but take Don't they tell you who did the strike? I don't know the details, but I know that Mookie just did not have energy and time yeah. to fuck around with it. And no, I don't blame him. Oh, yeah. He never he never created that channel to, to make the money. He created a channel to, to create the fun for people, right? It was an and, amazing uh, sandbox. How and then we got another one here. We got Pat Windbag Bren, 10 pounds, play a Mookie clip, Arch, any one. I don't well, know. I'm sorry, Ben, but there is no more Mookie channel. There's no more Mookie videos. He took it down. He had to take it down, guys. So, Fat, fat Windbag Ben and Ron the Actuary, would you please tell us in the comments something else we can play for you for your generous super chats like Baby Cow or any of the Mikey videos, the Bear video, the Tan video? Those we can do. Which are not even close to being entertaining. Entertaining. Yeah, like it's it's all we got. It's all we got. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, <laughs> sorry. Big sorry to Ben and big uh, apology yeah. to to Ron, guys. Uh, it is what it is. Hopefully, Mookie returns. That's all I can say. Mm. Uh, Toyota Mo is yet. still up. Is it still up, Toyota Mo? Well, Toyota, yeah. I'm gonna send uh, send us a link. Put it in the comments, and then we'll play it. Hold on, I'm a subscriber. Right? If I can. Toyota Mo says his channel is still there. I haven't looked, to be honest with you. I just We're taking I just go Mookie by board. by what right. I was told. Show and us. And Moki Moki confirms it's empty. It's empty, Mo. Ah, there we go. The channel is empty. So it's there, but the videos have been yeah. Removed. It's just lives. There's okay. some live streams, yes. All right. Mm, yeah, God. so whoever it is, uh, whoever it is, you, you know what? Suspicion is actually that it was not Timok. Not Timok. So I can tell you that much. That's as far as I know. Well, he had video of Timmy granting him access to use all his content. So if it was Timok, he has the ultimate get out of jail free card. You said it on but, video on the stream. Uh, as, far, as far as I know, and I know really very little, it's that it seems that it's not Timok. So who mm. is it? I don't know. But whoever it is, is a piece of shit. How's that? I agree. Toyota Mo, I would love to name the names, but I don't know them. I don't know who they are. $20. $20. 20 pounds. Yeah. Wow, even better. 
Zimin Khan, 20 pound to join the WhatsApp, Archie. Thank you so much. Yes, he was so just you need to explain to, to Zimin exactly what to do now. He wants so to I need go to join to... your WhatsApp group. So you need to have a normally you have a phone number with your WhatsApp and eyes of steel. Send me, send me the phone number and I can add. How you is she to gonna the send you the phone number, Archie? He's talking to me on Facebook Messenger. Okay, good. So we've got a communication happening. He's going in and he's he's really helped us tonight because it is a slow night bear. So is that the module you're always in, Arch? Is that the module that you're always distracted by Facebook Messenger? No. He never responds on Messenger, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm surprised. Here's the next one, Arch. We're backing up. We're backing up. We got another super chat here. Jefferson Exotic, five dollars. Respect us to the panel. This super chat is in honor of Mookie. One of his vids had a remix of "Come as You Are," and I can't find the artist. Help! Well, isn't that Nirvana? No, but a remix. I think it was the Mike the Snake remix. Well, that is the Mike the Snake with Ten. Yeah. So if you're looking whose song that is, it's Nirvana's song. Hmm. Just gotta wait till Mikey's back, and maybe he'll play his own rendition. Yeah, that that can be arranged for sure. That can be arranged. Thank you very much, buddy. Jefferson Exotic, you're an awesome guy. Thank you, man. And the boss, Patel Philippe, five bucks. AC three. Name the brand that many an ocean liner super tanker from the seventies, eighties, nineties use for their quartz ship chronometers and these were paddock 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 had them paddock had yeah, right. them. Mm. boys i gotta go to the the gotta feed satan's kitten see you next time thank you for coming mark yes. always a pleasure always a pleasure buddy thank you guys off so so what what's the question name the brand that many an ocean liner super tankers from super tanker from the 70s, 80s, 90s, used their quartz the marine chronometer. Okay, Archie, do you know the answer? Well, there was Paddock had them. Paddock Philippe had them. Really? They I didn't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They had a division. Because on a ship, you need to have accurate time. Okay. Time is a very See, important I thing. Thought, I googled it, and it seems like a ton of Seikos are coming up. You Googled as what? Like, what was your Google question? Google, Google, Google words. What, what did you Super Google? Super tanker, tank liner, marine quartz clock. Oh, no, but see, that would be tank, like in the Cartier tank design shape. No, I said Seiko. Is that... Why would you say no, no, Seiko? But... That would that bring up, up. 70s. Oh. <laughs> but if you, if you typed in marine chronometer. I'll do the search. I want to see if he's full of shit. Yeah. Do the search. Always got to undermine me, Bear. Well, I got to keep you in line, man. You need to know uh, who is... Because of that, I got some car talk planned for the last 30. <laughs> Listen, now, sometimes I don't mind, depending on... Depending on what it is, okay? Like, and and uh, if uh, you guys get too technical, then it gets fucking boring. I have it's my Navi Quartz. The Paddock version is called a Navi Quartz. I'm just calling show it us, up show now. Us, show us, show us. It's coming up now. Navi Quartz. Here we go. The Navi Quartz. Look at this here, bear. Patek How Philly. much does one of those go for, and why don't you have one on your desk, pussy? Uh, that, would, that would be very cool to have on a desk. Holy shit. You worried about these little squirrely boxes? This is what you need. I, I have to agree with that. That'd be fucking cool. I never really collected these things people people like them but um i'm dying for one of those ap desk clocks i just haven't figured found the right one i want 
Yeah. How much are they? Going? They're, they're quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah. You know, the store doesn't sell them, the boutique. No. Um, they give them to... What are they? Are they given as boutique? gifts or what are they done? Yeah, How are they done? As, they're given as gifts. Um, How much garbage was, do you need to buy to get that? Well, it's just the right watch, right? So a guy had bought in a star wheel when I was there. And they actually yeah. gifted him a desk clock of a star wheel. I have a photo of I'll send it to you. Fuck, that's so cool. I know. I was I was lit <laughs> I was so jealous. But luckily I was happy for the person. I, I know you would have had a meltdown in the store. It's so much better than getting that limited edition Tiffany crap, isn't it? Yes. Or the stupid AP hoodie he gave me. The stupid my, AP my hoodie. Fifth AP hat. I need yeah, like good that. point. I need desk clock. Very good point. Super Very chat from point. a wonderful Ross Rachel Brady. We love a Ross Rachel Brady. We love Ross Rachel Brady. Very much so. We do. Ross Rachel Brady, $5. The online group is so much fun you will love it you betcha absolutely can you put his super a glass chat of water? We, can you put his super chat properly on the screen and read it sorry here we go Arch, I sent you Ross, Rachel photo. Brady five bucks the online group is so much fun you will love it excellent and now we have a super chat from Patel Philip <laughs> keep going big boy Patel Philippe, two dollars. Thoughts on Boo sent to your photo, WhatsApp. photo on a photo oh. that he sent you to your WhatsApp. Yeah, now that's just trolling because that was my photo of my stolen, my stolen annual calendar. It's a beautiful photo, actually. I, this, this, I used to like taking good photos, Bear. I used. Fuck, I, I, I still I, like doing that. You're you're a big fan of a good photography. Look at that. That's a annual, beautiful. annual calendar. I missed that watch. You took yeah, that photo annual, watch? Yeah, because that's my box in the background. That was my that lacquered box, which they also stole as well, I must say. But I love excellent, how you have the Excellent picture. Excellent picture. Yeah. Like it's not the yeah. loom isn't pronounced, but it has presence. Yeah. It's amazing. So those Romans were loomed? Yes, they were. Wow. Yes, they were. See, I would have never have known that. It's absolutely. I will be back one tick. Get me. I've got to grab a glass of water. Thanks, Tanny. He's going to cry in a corner now. I'll be back. So how you doing, Bear? Oh, I'm doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing. I'm not complaining. I'm doing well. Um, just, uh, just was reading the chat. Is that true? Did uh, did Blondie actually gifted the watch to Ross? Is is that really true? It was my understanding there. What she told him that he could slow pay. Right. I don't think it was a gift or intended as a gift. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, uh, she says she just did. She just. She oh, just did. Well, hold on, fan. Ross said he was told by someone they would take care of it. If not, I'll send it to you. So maybe it's a miscommunication. No, she actually says no. Uh, I I just I did now bear. Enjoy, Ross. All is good. Wow, that's a nice gift, Ross. That's a really nice gift. That's a that's a generous gift, Blondie. I I'm I am I am actually very very impressed. Um, what can I say? <coughs> now Herman is not happy about it. And Blondie just confirms if there was anyone saying that they're going to actually pay on Ross's behalf, nobody did. So she is confirming that she has not received 
any money. And little Dave is stirring some shit, but that was a joke. Okay. So, Ross, when are we doing the unboxing of that watch? When are you coming to actually show us that watch on your wrist? Nice to see you, Alex, from Perpetual Time. Good to see oh, you in the chat. The and Blondie is saying, just promise to have a fabulous unboxing. That's actually very, very nice of you, Blondie, honestly. Very nice. So, Ross, Absolutely. tell us when you're going to come on the stream and uh, do this uh, wonderful unboxing of a really cool watch. That's uh, I like that watch. I think that's a, that's a beautiful watch. And you know what? It's reputable. It's respectable. It's from a reputable brand. It's quite attractive. Uh, good for you. Good for you. And uh, very kind of you, uh, Blondie. All right, you all right, bud? And Blondie, Mike says that Blondie got treated like one of Ocean's landlords. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. A good show last night on the hor horology. Not, it's not horology hooligans anymore. Ch he changed the name. What's the name now of the channel? Curly's, Curly's channel. What's, his, uh, what's the name of the... I don't know. It came up. I'm a subscriber, so I I watched it on uh, like YouTube on my TV. So I didn't see the chat new channel. Yeah, it was a good show. It was really uh, it was really disclosing and really showing yes. well uh, the true nature of the uh, uh, Venetian the, the Venetian grifter, and. Um, it seems that Curly has discovered exactly. I mean, he called for on it way, way before. Oh, Curly's House of Darkness. Yes, yes. It's actually a good name. Yes. Yeah, it's actually a fucking like awesome it. name. So he, he, he called on this that, that the, the grifter will outplay the grifter. And it seems that's exactly what's happening. I mean, Curly presents this really well. I mean methodically you can see it uh, through their words it's, it's so fucking well done um so oh, i right. uh you got a hmm. super chat look it's joel super chat super chat me? we got a super chat joel brown ten dollars thanks for featuring my collection earlier much appreciated looking forward to the actual review vid with all 17 individual photos <laughs> that's right 17 <laughs> No rush though. Enjoy bangers. No, it's it's a good question. Do good we have collection. a chance? Can we, that can we continue explodes? on that? Uh, I want to see the rest of the watches. I actually do. So we stopped at that Jeju Lakut alarm one. We were looking at the nice mm -hmm. Zenit. Uh, and then uh, Omega. Elk. And then Omega, which we love. So can we just see the rest of them? We don't have to really do the the review, but we can actually see what do we have there. Sure, right? sure, sure. Let's have a look here. He's got a beautiful collection bear i mean this is a guy who's really put a lot of effort into it bear um so we had the primary collection what and... do you mean primary collection <laughs> is the collection we don't well he picture. also had he is the collection had, that uh, one picture that you showed us yes well that no no that, that's the primary bear that's the primary so there's more i'm gonna bring He's got a box of shitters, Bear. Let's not get too excited. Okay, let's not. I don't care about shitters. I don't know why people do that. Send a fucking proper collection. Don't bother with shitters, okay? So have a look what go, else go, is here. Go to the second line collection. now. We finished the top line. Go what, to what the second line. What do you okay, think so of this look. box? I was you before. You've seen the perforated leather on the, uh, what do you call those, the cushions where the watch goes? I think yes. it's a bit cheap. To be honest with you, it's a bit crappy. It looks I, okay. I don't in the mind photos. it. I don't mind yeah, I it. see the carbon fiber on the bottom. Cool style. Yeah, mock mock carbon fiber. All right. It's mock, isn't it? You think this is like some low tier? Yeah, it's an Amazon box. It's an Amazon box. Okay. It's an let's Amazon talk, box. Uh, let's go to the. Okay, we heard. Okay, let's go to the watches now. Let's go so to the, the bottom row. He's got a Brightling right. Premiere. Look at that. that. That's 
They called that a navy timer. Can you believe this? What the fuck were they thinking? Yeah. Yeah, I'm what not. The I'm fuck not. Were they this thinking? is um, the only. I think he got this for. Uh, this is, I think, ceramic. Yes. Is it ceramic? Yeah. So I think that's how he wanted to introduce ceramic uh, piece to his collection. It's a. It's a. It's okay. Watch. It's. Uh, I would not pick that one, but. I'm not going to shit on it uh, for, well, it is a brightling. I guess it does deserve a bit of a shitting on it, but uh, mm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about when it. I see brightling. All I think is what would Patrick Philippe do? Well, then you kind of know what, what he <laughs> would do. So uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just say it's a ceramic watch. It's probably why he had that next. The next one he's got along, moving along here. And uh, unfortunately, this bottom box, the sad thing is they're getting, they're not necessarily better, okay? They're not better. We've got a glass hoot. Ugly yeah, there glass is what, hoot. Uh, there, is, there is the comment from Patrick. <laughs> you can hear it in his voice when you read it. Yeah, mm. yeah. You can hear him screaming from Texas. So what do we have? Glass chute? Uh, oh, no, I don't like that. Fuck, I don't like anything about that watch. I don't like the way date is positioned. I don't like the square glass chute. Uh, this is definitely Houdinki guy. This is, uh, I love the guy, okay? He's a watch enthusiast. I respect him and all that. But fuck me, dad. I could not handle this watch. Psychologically, it would bother me. It would bother you? Yeah. What the mm. fuck is there to like about this watch? You know, th this is like a jazz master. Mem remember the jazz it's master? Fucking jazz white. master is a disaster. It's a total, and you hate it, and you know you hate it. Yeah. Wait, wh yeah who makes exactly. the jazz master? I feel like at one point in my life, I. That was the Hamilton. I Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. Hamilton. It's a, this is a disaster. It's a fucking shitter. Okay, that Zen is kind of cool yeah okay uh even cooler because of the beautiful forest green dial all right i can i can i can enjoy that it's still a bit of a pushing it with the uh houdinki loves love love affair right i, I said fuck me that actually i don't know i'm kind of i'm i'm split personality on this i don't know you tell me you I are pontiff yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it either. But okay, Archie, you are the pontiff. Tell us, tell us, please. Look, the glass hood itself there, it's kind of a, it's, it's, I don't mind, I don't mind the black. By the, the way, steel, can I just I comment, when, when I hear, see comments like this, can I, can I just comment on yes, DP's yes. comment? Grassroot original, great brand, underrated for sure. You see, I fucking think it's overrated. I fucking think it's mm. fucking overrated. It's a dog shit brand, okay? It's a brand you fucking buy when you cannot afford a Lange, okay? And you want to pretend to have a cool German brand. So yes. I don't think it's underrated. I fucking don't think, because I fucking read the Watch Geeks every day comments on what an amazing underrated brand it is. No, it's overrated. Glass shooter or Zin? The glass shooter. Yeah. The Zin is cool. The Zin is a proper tool watch. The Zin took the role of a of the of the Rolex. Like the Zin is a tool watch. The, the Zin is okay. I respect Zin. I like Zin. Although they get a little uh, Seiko with the jujitsu polishing with that tegumented submarine steel. Yeah, I know, but it's it kind of acceptable. It's not. It's not done in. A, it's not overly nauseating. It's not Can overly. Explain nauseating. to me the like that Damasco company, how they relate to Zen, because I see a lot of the Damasco stuff looks almost. Oh, like I hate uh, those fucking watches. Oh fuck, that doesn't go well with that. Just get a Damasco nice and fucking don't be stupid. Watches are not meant to be Damasco, okay? So go fuck yourself on that. By the way, I have to agree with Ron once again tonight. The only glass shoot award getting is the fucking CQ. That's a cool watch. 
And yes, Zin is a bad ass brand. Again, I agree with that Fiker. I agree with that Fiker. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, but this is like an entry that. level. This is the lowest level Zin. This is I don't know what's yeah. the number. I think it's like a five five six. Yeah, I think I don't know those numbers. I, I don't need to know those numbers. So I got a level, spring drive okay? Grand Seiko. I quite yeah, like that. I like that Grand Seiko. Okay, that's okay. The Bell and Ross. Why would you oh, spend that so much money on this? I don't get it. Do you? It is a cool look. I like it's the numerals on it. By the way, the cooler, coolest it's looking uh, Bell and Ross I've ever seen. Yeah, but guess what? It's Bell and Ross, man. Why? <laughs> What's the point? Does this collection need it? Did, did he have any other GMTs that I missed? Or is, did he get this to represent the GMT? So that is the um, the Bell and Ross. Um, Archie, the question I have, I don't yeah. remember. Did he have any other he have GMTs? Any other GMTs? He did not. Uh, well, he had the duo reverso, the duo yeah, okay. reverso. That, that's not the GMT. All right, there you go, uh, uh, Hoff. He got that to represent the GMT. All right, but dude, fuck me, dead. Bell and Ross to represent GMT. Come on. And look Come at the on. next piece Come of garbage. On. He's got a Christopher Ward in the box. That's really yeah. scraping the bottom of the barrel, yeah, isn't that it? One was coming. Well, okay. That you know what? That was kind of hype. Hype, uh, hype Christopher Ward, okay. They came garbage. up with this. It's an integrated bracelet. Uh on on, on a, a discount integrated bracelet watch. People were a little bit excited. The hype color. Yeah, so all right, this is this is this is kind of oh, you roll you your bottom rolls just your bottom yeah fuck man. I don't know. Archie, you know what, what you, you know what I look at that bottom row and say, Bear. Tell Someone me. needs to unsubscribe to watch exchange on Reddit. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. You're right. Right. Seriously. Tell me that entire you know, bottom row thing isn't about this collection like, uh... is bad. Okay, the bottom line, the only two watches <laughs> that you should take from the bottom line is that Zin and that Grand Seiko. The rest, put in your shitter box, okay? All right? I'm on watch exchange. They'll go. The top line, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got eight good watches, okay? The six on the top. And Zin and and Grand Seiko on the bottom, those are eight nice pieces. The rest, fucking sell it all, fucking sell it, fucking all. You have too many watches to begin, all right? Hey, Mikey. And you're allowed to have too many watches only if you have too many fucking high end watches. But to have a, too many watches that get mixed in with the garbage, like a fucking Christopher Ward, like a fucking Bell and Ross GMT. You can't all do that shit. That's unacceptable, okay? So I'm telling you right now, you're a cool man, you're a good guy. Get rid of that fucking shit and uh, keep these eight and enjoy your life. Ooh, get rid of that fucking shit. Wow, Bear. That was strong. Well, and no Rolex, Bear. What do you think of that? Well, he, okay, you can tell he's influenced. Every man needs a Rolex, man. Every this man is, needs a Rolex. This is a man with a Hodinkee app on his phone. On the first screen. Home screen. Fuck. I'm sorry, Joel. I don't mean to slander. You know, okay, let's apologize to Guy. We're rude, okay? We're nasty. But dude, no, you want us to, to help him. him? We're trying okay, to help honestly, him. Man, Joel, if you're watching right now, jump on the panel so we can have this conversation. This yeah, is be let's good be you, nice. Okay, you. let's talk. Yeah. Okay, there is a link is pinned, pinned. At least get a fucking one Rolex. I'm sure there is a Rolex you like. Yeah. You don't They're have to put other... camera on. You can hide behind an avatar right. like being bare tonight. Yes, yes. Bottom line: keep the Zin, keep the Grand Sequin. Please, please, drop the rest of the shit. You got some cool things, okay? You really got some. That you know, Ron, fucking... Ron nailed it. What did Ron say? 
look, I pulled up his capture. Yeah, man, that's I, a good I went advice. Down this too, and that's why I'm speaking from experience, Joel. You, you know mean, what? Don't don't be feeling the box. Don't. Right. That's the one thing that our pontiff is wrong about. Fuck the box. As a matter of fact, sell the fucking box too if you can sell it. You don't need a box. Okay? Box is misleading. Box is not meant to fucking dictate what you should have. And then when you run out of the box, you run out of fucking money and then you've obligated to fill the fucking empty spots. Fuck that shit. What do you think of the bottom row, Mike? How would you rate that? Um, well, okay, somebody's gonna have to update me. Um um, okay, I'm, Mikey, I'm we got there. a Breitling on the top, on the bottom. We got a Breitling shitter, okay? okay it's a, a fucking color? Navi timer that's not a Navi timer. It's okay. a ceramic, okay? It's a Breitling okay. shitter. Then we got glass shoot yeah. original with the strangely positioned date in a very fucked up shape of the case. Something I don't even know what the fuck it is. Okay. And it's just, just a fucking there, ugly. Just jumping in there, Patel Philippe, $2.00. Will your world time ever see the light of day? Yes. It's when I get back, I'm going to start wearing it. Okay, Are you going to bring it to you, Dubai? Dubai's too hot. <laughs> Where, why are you going to Dubai? What the fuck is this, though? <clears throat> uh, my friend wanted me to go to Dubai. Oh, yes. I forgot. Yes, I remember now. Okay, uh, so I, honestly, I, 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 look, I wouldn't have chosen Dubai, but hey, someone says, do you want to come? Here's your ticket. I'll take it. All right. So, Mikey, uh, are you chewing tobacco? What the fuck are you doing? I'm, I'm yes. sitting here waiting for you to tell me what kind of watches are on the bottom row. Okay. So you got Zin. That's cool Zin? watch with yeah, the green like dial. All right. That's cool. You like got Grand Seiko. Okay. All right. We got Grand a nice. Rose, okay. Those two are nice. Then we got a fucking Bell and Ross fucking disgusting fucking GMT that nobody fucking. And then you have a Christopher fucking Ward. Which fucking is a total fucking garbage. Yeah, you chuck the whole bottom row. Not whole. Keep those two. Well, yeah, I mean the, the Zen and the the. the um, but even the Zen's a low tier Zen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even that Zen. Let's that's... be honest. But okay, I can live with it. Yeah, me too. I can live with it. Uh, are you? Are you actually the top row? You're fine with just the top row alone. Mm -hmm. Am I right? I don't even want to ask Archie right. to show me his next box. Actually, oh, it, show, <laughs> show us next box. Wait, show right. us next box. You got to give us, is the next box where all the good watches are? Archibald, wake up, big boy. Next box is full of the shitters. Next box Let's is see full it. of Let's the shitters. Let's see it. Oh, so, so you have Let's to go through 17 of these see and singles, 17 single photos of all these? This is going to be one hell That's of a correct. review, boys. I think he's trolling yes. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Ben. I did not know that. Look at this stuff. Boulevers. What the, I've never heard some, some of these. Hamilton. Oof. Look at this garbage. Timex Q, Cassio. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oris. Oh, my God. That's an Audi Sport Oris. Look at it. I know that Oris. That's an oh. Audi Sport one. Hey, that's Oof. what you should get, huh? No. No, you should oh. not I looked get, at that nobody and said should no. get that. Nobody should get what? that. I looked at that and said no. It's ugly fucking thing. I would rather have the bullet. What is garbage? That? The what? Look at him! Look me, Dad. What the? No, no. Okay, go slow. I want to actually see what's what. Actually, I, I, I am, I am, I'm. Go, go slow. You fucking. Do I understand? Do you speak fucking English? Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I'm going slow. Okay, so start from one end. Okay. Jesus Christ. Here yeah, we started from the end. What is this? You have a super chat from Patel. Starting glass. to read from right to left. You've been in these Asian <laughs> countries too long. Okay, here Start, we go. Patel Philippe, five dollars. AC three. Can you pick an 18238 that you would buy with your own money, honey? Your own money, honey? Wow. 
I actually had an 18238. I loved it. I loved it. I loved that watch. Okay, can we, can we just say to jo is it Joel? Yes. We love you, man. Don't take this wrong. But okay, honestly, take this box and please sell it in any shape or form you can. Take anything you can get. You don't need this many watches when you are having fucking so much shit or so much garbage. Please understand you are not enjoying. That's not a way to enjoy the hobby. Okay? Mm. Please. Please. I care it's about you. Okay? I'm hobby. telling you, I actually care about you. Joel, I care about you. You're a good guy. You're supporting right. Archie. You I, I, I take it back. He's not a Hodinky guy after seeing this box. He's Your a TGV worn guy. Your TGV guy. Worn and guy. Worn and wound. You know that website? Worn and worn wound. wound. Oh, shit. I know. I know. That website okay, well, cost me thousands of dollars in shitters. I fucking can you answer Patel's fucking question, Archibald? AC3, can you pick an 18238 you would buy with your own money, honey? I got to tell you, I, if I was to have an 18238, I, I had one which was a 18238 cream dial diamond dial i loved it i absolutely love that watch but i can't go small anymore because all my watches now are big man sized watches i can't go small anymore bear i like big manly sized watches bear Okay, you have another super chat from Patel Philippe. Patel Philippe, two bucks. Bear, please, a message from AC3 to Ben. Bear, please, a message from AC3 to Ben. I don't know what you mean, Patel. Can you text me, explain what you mean? I, I sure. think he's asking you what you think Archie's, Archie's message is going to be to this guy. Oh, no, to Ben, sorry. Yeah, I, I, did, you, did you see what was going on in the comments? Uh, no, ben, uh, on in the comments. ben lost his wife, uh, uh, Archie. Our, our what? Fat, we, yeah. yeah, back in December, he said. Yeah, his wife died. Oh, my God, that's it. oh that's so sad. It's yeah, really, really sad for you, Ben. That's awful. Yeah. yeah. Deepest sympathy, Ben. That is truly, yes. truly hard, man. See, he said he was with her since he was 14, 30 years. Her father was his trainer. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Ben. Man, yeah, that sucks. Wow, that's just so awful, man. Sorry, man. Sorry, Ben. That's just so, so sad. I don't know what you what you can say really that's just very very sad man i hope we've uh given you some fun on the streams that's all i can say i hope we've given you yeah, some that's fun hard. And pleasure, man that's really hard mm. that's very that's tough why i keep telling you arch everyone really that watches these shows you wonder why they get upset sometimes when there's all drama or you know, they lean in and get upset with you. It's because a lot of times people are looking for escapism in this show. I know I do. Yes. Right. Fair point. Good point. Uh, That's well said. Fair point. Good point. Uh, Very huh? fair point. Oh, I don't know what to say, man. That's really, really I'm really sorry, sorry to hear that, man. Um, ben, you're a great guy, great supporter. I know you care about Archie. And, um, I hope uh, you find some peace and uh, may she rest in peace. That's for sure. Absolutely. Archie, you have a super mm. chat from Patel. We got another super chat. Just come in from Patel there. Patel, oh, Philippe, $2. AC3, thought on a 18238 Onyx I love the dial. Can you bring this up, please? That, that sounds killer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
coming on the screen now. So, <clears throat> and that's a day date, not the day just, right? Correct. I think so. Correct. <laughs> Did you see that comment from Paolo? It's so difficult on a Windows computer. Yeah, here, here. Yeah, it's so difficult. My kid, you see that? Arch, Arch. Yeah. Actually, I prefer. Look oh, you that. want the you want the images here? Yeah. Great looking watch. No, that's okay. okay. We, you can you, you can keep yours up. That's fine. No, please, please, now. just like one big image. Oh, that thing's gorgeous. Beautiful watch. Beautiful. Thoughts uh, on it? Problem. I love it. And yeah, and you know what? Also, is amazing about this watch. Uh, the mm. notorious BIG also on this watch. You know, uh, that just reminded me actually. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the pretend thing. I just saw it today in the in uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Moda watch group for the first time. They had the emoji day date for sale. Uh, guess how much? How much? How much? I want you to guess. Two hundred. More. Three hundred. A little more than three hundred. Oh, so more than That's the Lamont. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm, That's ridiculous. Writers? Uh, I don't know if it's sold. Uh, I, I, I just saw it when the guy just posted that was officially the first one ever for sale that I've seen, which also indicates they don't make a lot of them. You know, mm. I still can't believe how hard to get the friggin' Yachtmaster 42s are. Oh, my God. You are not, you are not kidding. I, I, when they announced that watch, I really thought it's going to be... Relatively, you know, hard Easy. in the beginning. You're right. But it's, yeah, it's going to be Yacht Master. Like, you know, Yacht Ma you know, I love Yacht Masters. You always tease me, Dan tease me, right? So I said, you know what? Uh, this is fucking awesome. Yacht Master or in titanium looks really mean, cool. Yeah. I'm getting it. Has this. that I'm matte bezel? My uh, AD has not received one yet. Wow. Mine got two. Neither came my way. Actually, I think they got more. But the I I follow the owner's son, who's like the president now on Instagram, and he always posts when the hot watchers come in. Mm -hmm. So I've seen him post at least two. I know they got at least two. Cocksuckers. Yeah. yeah. Look, the collectors <laughs> just got one in. This is the first one I've seen on their site. 43. How much Can is you it? Imagine? 43 grand, Arch. Fuck me, dead. That's I'm ridiculous. Watch. But that's how hard it is to get. They're hard to get, Arch. That's the thing. You'd They're go for a gold get. sub, wouldn't you? Of yeah, course. Got, you could save 13 grand, probably. <laughs> Easily no, 10 I don't grand. Know who, I don't know who pays this shit for this watch. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't, I I don't mean, know. You really ha have to have money to piss away to pay this. Right. Or mm -hmm. know a guy that's going to pay 50. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. So what do you think about that Onyx style day date? Wouldn't it be amazing if they start producing some more day dates yes. uh, with a If they did a 40. Stuff? Imagine they yeah. did a 40. Oh my god. That would be so fucking amazing. So amazing. <laughs> did the Onyx styles crack or... They had good luck. No, because I know certain. I think the um, some of the stone dials can crack. Blood, yeah. bloodstone. And I heard the worst um, dial that even Rolex admits, like pr privately, was a mistake. Was the wood dials? Right. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, the word "wood" doesn't to me doesn't just doesn't doesn't. I always work. thought there was. So it, 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 it's only a very thin wafer of wood. It's it doesn't have much uh, thickness to it. I don't want wood it. near my watch. I think <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. At least it can't scratch. Well, you know why? I don't even want to look of the wood. I don't even want it to look like wood. It was like a birch wood. Hold on. Uh, like it just reminded me of luxury cars. That's why I liked it. 
Like you know those Bentleys that have that like birchwood dash? Yes. Uh, burl yes. Burlwood. All right, I know now what you're saying. That is kind of cool. Hold yeah, on. my BMW had. Uh, you know. Burlwood. You brought. You managed to bring some car talk. See, you you're a sneaky little guy. Well, a little bit, but well, sneaky. BMWs have a lot of them. You know, you can choose the type of wood. And, uh, this year also. The whole well, interior is done with it. You know, the doors, the dash, the center console. It's pretty, pretty cool you. the way they do it. And it's nice wood, too. It's not not a veneer. It's like solid. All right, Mikey. Super chat from Patel Philippe. $5 Canadian. Patel Philippe, $5. AC3, do you think I could pull off a day date? Missoni dial while I smoke a spliff with half in flushing. <laughs> hey man, you could pull anything. You off. smoke? Um, uh, I didn't see you half. Do you smoke that shit that uh, Tan does? Um, yeah. Although I tend to do edibles now. You fucking degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, I figure if I'm gonna s smoke cigarettes, still the least I could do is. I did it try something he had. Um, it was it was actually quite good. I don't know what. Right, doesn't was that remind it. you of a Bentley interior? What mm. is that thing that he smokes that tastes like a cinnamon? It tastes like a candy. I did like that. It's vaping, know. you mean? Vaping. No, no. Yeah, that vaping thing. What is that cinnamon thing? That that fucking. Actually, you would like that shit. It's kind of like a. Like a dessert, like a sugary. It's like a it's got no calories, beer. but but it fucks up your lungs. Gee, that's a great compromise, beer. <laughs> the nicotine vape. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Mr. Valju is here. Hey, nice to see you, Mr. Valju. Uh, has Bear ever owned a cuckoo clock? No, but uh, my grandfather owned a cuckoo clock. Yes. And it was in my grandfather's and grandmother's apartment in Belgrade. And that brings a lot of memories. It was actually beautiful. Mm. Those things are insane. And they, they are not cheap. Uh, no, I, especially I, if they're real German cuckoo yeah. clocks. Yeah, if, if you get a real one of, of a semi-vintage or vintage, man, I mean, they, they work great. And um, they are expensive. Mikey, what do you think about this wood? What would you call this wood? Burl, I would call it burl. burl. It's, it's a it's a burl wood. You know, burls are the knots on wood. They cut open that. But that's know, not a type of wood, right? Well, I I wouldn't know what kind of wood this is, right? You oh, know, that's it, why it, I was asking you. But it could be walnut, or it could be birch, or, or you know, it, I don't know. It could be you know, they, you could take any wood and and stain it and change the color. Burl. It'd have to be microscopic thin, but. Off, you know that's where the problem is. Hmm. It's so thin. You'd have to be a, just a very thin, thin sheet of it, wouldn't it? Yes, obviously. Let's see if I can find another good. But photo it's whatever it is. It's they uh, cut the burl portion, you know, because otherwise it would look like a board, right? It'd have straight lines, mm. you know, the grain like you know, two by four. They didn't cut. Oh, they had different kinds. Two by I four see four. one with straight grain right now, Mikey. Hold on. Oh no, they okay. Somebody, you know, might choose to do that. But this is burl. This is like the. This is a knot on a tree that somebody's cut open, and mm -hmm. the the grain just goes everywhere. Do you know why cuckoo clocks are expensive? Why is that? Uh, McLovin explains it exactly. McLovin says it's because Higgy forbids cuckoo clocks to be sold outside the <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Here, Mikey, I got one for you. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. What do you got for him? Let me look. It's crazy. Oh, okay. I don't know. I kind of like the enamel dials. You know those yeah. funky colors. Of course, so of the Stella course. dials, the Stella dials, right? Of course. Well, they have pink as well. You could get pink, aqua. You know all these different colors. They were so cool. Yeah. You know what's funny? Arch? Every time I see my wife's uh, that like candy pink op I got her, I get. You know, this yeah. dart was pink very dangerous. Every sticks. time, this is how you said it. Every time I see my wife's candy pink, just think about it. 
Just think about it. Well done. If Mookie, yeah, if Mookie, is, still, if Mookie is still in business, that would be think dangerous. Mookie's retired. Thank goodness. Uh, well, we have a super chat from uh, wonderful Tictology. Love Tictology. Tictology, $2. How much to show us your Alcantara couch? Who's got an Alcantara, Alcantara. couch? Uh, he's referring to me. I have a green. He doesn't mean my couch. couch. I see that's my couch. Yeah. There. Uh, right now it's it's covered um, and got a bunch of stuff on it. So. What is what is he talking about, Mikey? Yeah, he's, I have a couch that's made from this material called Alcantara. And what is that? It's a leather suede like uh, material, very much like suede. Um, that's used is it synthetic. Uh, it's semi-synthetic. It's, but I believe it's a mixture of actual leather and rubber, and it's made into a uh, like a suede-like material. And they they use it in the highest ends of things like uh, interiors of supercars. The is no, um, no. You, I, I'll show it some sometime late, at some point. But yeah. Um, okay, just wanted to make sure we address the super chat. And just to. And just to uh, answer to Tom Mag Magnum, there are you cuckoo? Oh yeah, I, I definitely I would qualify as a cuckoo. McLovin, my dear dear friend, uh, and our dear dear friend McLovin, thank you. And we got a, we got some. Are we gonna read the super chat, Archie? McLovin, two dollars eighty for the bear. There we go. Oh, you read and that like, I, like there was zero enthusiasm about no, it. No, zero. Was good. Hold on. You want to redo? Here we go. We can redo that. Yeah. Mac Levin, two dollars eighty for the bear. Thank you, Archie. Thank you, Mac Levin. <laughs> and we got a super <laughs> chat here. This is from. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> me, Dad. Me. This is Patek on Natos. Archie oh, there's Senior a whole Oscar. Instagram account that's... Uh, Are you fucking kidding me? No, it's all Patex, and they have Na Lange on NATO's. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's bring it up, boys. We'll bring it up. Let's have a Hell look you, here. Some Let's of the Lange is really screen. cool on NATO's. I hate this. Look at that. It's a World Time Platinum 5110P. My thing about the oh, it's sorry. my 5107 on a NATO. I, I did that years ago. Yeah, but yeah, you did it as a throw. You, you, did you ever actually wear it like that? Yeah, I did. I did. But it felt like shit. Yeah. Come then on. there was a 5960. Yeah. By the way, this is Hoffmeister's. This is the yeah, best was clock that Hoff was clock talking was about. You. That bastard's big, right? It worked, too. And yeah, I that got, must be worth I got thousands. What do you think? I got to pull the crown and twist, and it made all the what do you call it wheels go. It was so cool! Oh wow, amazing really? stuff! It was quartz, it or what is cheap. it exactly? It didn't feel what cheap. What is it? Is it quartz or what is it? You know, I it must know. be. It has to be. Okay, it, but you felt like some. I don't know. It, I gotta. I'll ask him. And by the way, actually, you missed one NATO picture from Patel. How can you shortchange our boss? There we go. <laughs> Look at that. He was trying to somehow. That somehow that works. Somehow, actually, that kind of looks kind of nice. I don't know what to say. Polka dot but... NATO on a seventy-five thousand dollar manual wine chrono. I mean, you have to admit it. At least. He... At least he picked a really interesting NATO for it. Yeah, I, I'd be curious to see the rest of his ensemble. Like, what suit is he wearing along with this? Here we go. Here's another one. Look at this. How about hmm. this? All right, that one I think a is double, close. Is it a double split? I don't yeah, know. this is actually cool, too. <laughs> this is double split chronograph? Hmm. But my it's whole thing is, watch, like, right? is, why would you want to spend this money on a watch and make it look cheap on a NATO? Ah, uh, because they can. Because yeah. they can. I guess this is the ultimate sign of stealth wealth, right? Yeah, it's a bit of a flex. It's a bit of a yes. flex. You know who I see doing this? Who's that? Archie's favorite, Archie's favorite nephew, Fella. Yes, this is Fella. That's probably Fella's wrist right there. 
That's What's Fela been up to? Not good. Definitely not good. Fela is never up to good, man. And I agree, Jimmy. That as that as actually looks good. I I'm not. Uh, no, you can't. I I can't even hate on this one. No, no. Hey, Beautiful Arch, watch. In the last two minutes. Can uh, we do a little car talk? Yeah, I'll do a little bit sure, of car talk with our. With you know our something, Huffy. So I had. Huffy, I, had I actually. I, I, I sorry. I yeah. was gonna say I, I've been. You're getting having... excited, Hawk. Did you uh, see uh, that? He actually yeah. got excited. All right, go watch. I have my that's Doug DeMuro's uh RS2. Wow. Yeah. RS4, you mean, isn't it? No, it's an RS2. It's an original okay. done by Porsche Audi that RS. That looks like Subaru. No, this is cool. No. Look at the tails on that. Yeah, this is why this... are you telling telling me that Subaru is not cool? No, Look Subaru at the Porsche cool, wheels, too. But... Audi is, Aren't those is like, like Mercedes-level cars. <laughs> yes, they are. This, 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 this is cool. I give you that. Porsche this is actually race. very cool. I mean, this is like a one of one. Doug DeMuro uh, got this for like, I think he spent like 200 grand on this one. Where That was his Holy gift shit. to himself. Um, but yeah. Was I mean, it was I mean, what? Right? It was what? He what got it as like a gift to himself. It was a car oh, he always wanted that. that was on his bucket list, and he always wanted to find one in like his best condition. the The reason that brought it up is a friend of mine who works for the. Local That's right, Audi. McLovin. That's just like a Volkswagen Rabbit. No. I agree with you. A I agree, high. McLovin. Uh, you know so, it, buddy. So, uh, do you know you why know it's a station wagon? Why? Because when Audi went to Porsche... By the way, Curly just had a word for you. There is no such a thing as a cool station wagon. That doesn't uh, exist. That's what my wife says. It's, a, it's an estate car. It's an estate. It's my not wife a station said, my wagon. My wife is not a fan of any of this. Um, she so, told so, me if I get so car, will not... They went um, to Porsche. They went to Porsche, and they wanted them to make a... Collab with them to make a really fast uh, car for the United States. Yep. And Porsche only did a station wagon because they didn't want it to compete with them. They couldn't imagine mm -hmm. themselves ever coming out with a station wagon. That's why they made a station wagon. Well, Audi wow. made the, the, you know, the if you look on, an Audi engine in it. If you um, look on the actual badge, it says Audi RS, and then on the bottom's Porsche. Ah, very cool. ah. But it's just such a... Wow. Amazing. That car, that car was the equivalent of almost two hundred grand when it came out in the nineties. Wow. So, so, so this is like your dream car, or what's the story here, Hav? No, I was just having my nine thirty moment, staring. No, at no, this. no. But do, actually, would this be something you would love to own? No, because I wouldn't trust myself to be the keeper of something like this. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you I just would, admire you. I, you I like to admire, admire that. Yes, yeah. all the vintage mm. cars like this, like I love vintage Audis. These are the ones I really grew up, the boxy ones, like the B5, yeah. uh, S4s and those. Those are the ones I really appreciate. The Quattros. And, yeah, and I just, yeah, even the Audi 5000s. Like my brother used to have an Audi 5000. That probably was what started my love affair with Audi. He had a manual Audi 5000, which was the American version of the Audi 10 I found out the other day. So... You know, with vintage cars and something like this, I'm too reckless with cars. Like, I would curb yeah. those ribs in a second. I'd be smoking in it. Folks also are very hard on cars. Huh? New York's very tough on cars, don't yeah. you think? Without question. Uh, by you the way, uh, Alejandro, Alejandro has schooled Curly regarding his comment. So he says, check out the RS6 Avant. Yes, that's the that is to me the car. Bring it up, bring it up. RS right. six event. Archie, I sent you the photos of my friend's RS six, which is the coolest RS six we'll ever see. There were professional done photos if you look at our trail. Yeah. Ah. Remember when did the you send that oh. on WhatsApp? Yes. Maybe that's a while ago. ago. All right, you know what? We'll just pull this one up. 
No, the, these are amazing. One of my really good friends has one. He had to shut me down. You know those, Bear, do you have any of those friends that always have to, like, you get something, and then they have to one-up oh, you? They're going to have to, you. Yeah. That's, so, no, that's, that's the RS6? Yes. It's a fucking monster. Look at that thing. That's, that, that's, yeah. That's oh okay I see yes 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 I understand yeah, that. I will take no slander from you this is a fucking monster right there this yeah that's a beautiful car man horsepower. fuck that's nice yeah it, it, look it's like an SUV just slammed <laughs> yeah yeah I can I can I can I can see you uh, driving this this holds a ton of value because they don't bring a lot into the states too. Yeah. One thing I realized with Audi, you want to get, you want to spend the money for the S and the RS cars because those really hold the value. Wow, crazy, insane! Does it have the V10 or the V12 in it? It no, it's the bi turbo uh, V8. V8. Okay, that's still a monster motor. Anyways, yeah. it's a four liter too. Yeah, that's like probably Mike, five my friend has it launch control. Cars. You think your head's gonna fly off? <laughs> is it all wheel? Wow. It's got to be all wheel drive. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. They're all. Uh... Yeah, Audi perfected that. Nothing it's funny thing is, you know, I got a friend of mine who's got an RS8. A, a friend of a friend, right? It's, it, it, there it's, is no. Oh, RSQ8. You mean the, the SUV? So, you, what, what? What's the 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 R R8? Oh, the supercar. And he, yeah, and he spec'd it. As a rear wheel drive only, not all wheel drive. That you can because it's a supercar. I, but that's probably oh. the only. Actually, maybe some of the cheaper ones can do front wheel drive, but I've never. Hold on. The R8, uh, there I'm is a super right. shot from Apes with a bit of a accusatory note for our Mike. Apes, five pounds. Mike, is it true the 930 is no longer and you sold the car as parts? <laughs> No, that's definitely not true. Carter's I love the R8. Happy and warm and fine and mm. sitting in my garage. Mikey, v Mikey strongly denies this statement. Just say it, Mike. I strongly deny yes, this absolutely. statement. This is uh, Poppycock. Poppycock! <laughs> yes. So, oh, yeah, hold on. We, we have a request for an RS3. Picture. That's the car I wish I could fit into. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you tall. I saw it. Yeah. The R8? No, the RS2. Which one I, do you have? Which one do you drive? I have an S6. I have this. Show me. Oh, I oh, hate nice. this one. But oh, I, I hate nice. this. I, I much prefer mine. <laughs> uh, show me yours. Um, hold on. I'll send Arch the... <coughs> <clears throat> Actually, I have a super chat before. from the boss himself. Patel Philippe, five dollars. Yes, you can spec rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Same for the Huracan. Most Huracan owners prefer rear wheel drive yeah. because why not slide that ass ass out, Mikey baby? Archie, Archie, you can read this better. This is this is poetry. This is poetry, Archie. Let's poetry. do this properly. Uh, let's do it in a poetry yes. way, okay? There we go. Yes, you can spec rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Same for the Huracan. Most Huracan owners prefer rear-wheel drive because why not slide that ass out, Mikey baby? Lovely, lovely. They like to hang it out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah baby. Photo. Yeah, yeah, baby. It's like those guys on DDE, you know, uh, Daily Dirty got... Exotics. That's all they do, man. They, they they undo the front wheels, you know, so they can just do donuts all day long. And they go out and thrash all these supercars, and everybody loves it, man. It's fucking great. <laughs> well, are you showing us, are you going to huh? show us your car? Um, um, uh, yes. Yeah, Archie, looking... show us the hot nicer car. Than I remember. I love the wheels, by the way. Would you ever black them out? I would like to get. There's um. Very nice. I, there's some all black BBSs that I have my eye on. Very, very but nice. In some, it, in it, some it way, it I like them. Almost, like that. it looks almost like my Jetta. 
<clears throat> well, it's so funny. That's what <laughs> a lot of my friends uh, that I grew up with said. It reminds them of my old jet on steroids. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. That that yeah, I that does. There is a little resemblance. Well, this there. is what uh, why I like it. There you it, go. To me, this iteration of like the newer Audi's coming out with all the new body styles they're coming out with, in my opinion, the Korean car companies were always biting off Audi, right? Like the Kia's, yeah. the Hyundai's, they all look like Audi's and very much stole like their design and swagger. DNA, yeah. And now to me, it looks like the dog's chasing the tail, his tail, where Audi's are starting to look like Kia's to me. Cool. Yeah, I, I, interesting, I, 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 interesting observation. It's funny you say that. Porsche did the, the same thing in the 80s. Remember the Porsche, they had the 944? Let me see if I can. And then they had the, I think it will actually, I have, to, I have to agree with Archie that the, <laughs> black, the blackened wheels would look good on your car. Yeah, yeah. no, I have black and okay. red ones already spec'd out. You Guys, we've got, to thank, we've got to thank our sponsors. I'm for sorry, today. I, we had, no, we, we did not have sufficient amount amount of money tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the employee of this company, I feel that we are responsible to go at least another 25 minutes. Sure. Thank you. We need to make the quota. I'm not going to allow some fucking Tim Wright to beat us any night. So the only way we can do that, around another 25 minutes, 20 minutes yeah, at right. least. Show the picture. And hopefully get some more super chats. This is a friend of mine's car. Hopefully get some more super chats. That's it. Yep, calling it up. Now, Bear, envision yeah. these on there. If I buy my car, these are what they'll have this summer. All right. Archie, while he's doing that, you have a super chat from Patel. Did you get it, Arch? Oh, I'm getting it. I'm just, I've just got to download it. Just hang on. Okie dokie. Yes, urinator, company quota, and you better behave, urinator. You already got By the way, do you realize who his avatar is? I didn't realize till I seen it on the TV when he super chatted. It's who? R. Kelly. Ah, the urinator. that's right. Yeah, <laughs> good one. I, that's a good mind. one. Yeah. Okay, okay. You know what? It makes sense. Fair I'm enough. sorry, Pitch I never... Uh, very cool. Here we go. We got some... Thumbs oh, up, urinator. Oh. Thumbs up. More car picks to you. What's up? Now have a look. Yeah, this is the wheels. And see the the red are actually aluminum uh, wheels. Oh, I wheel. need to check, actually. Do we have anything going after this show? Is there anyone following with the show after? <clears throat> Let me know, check. Archie. Have... Keep going. Keep going, Archie. What for all? And uh, so that's the. Oh, this is uh, this is uh, from this is, uh, this is from uh, this is from Terracon. Yeah, but what's that Ferrari? Oh, Patel said. Uh, oh, Blondie. we're going to. Blondie has a show. Actually, there is we have a special for you. Oh. When is Blondie scheduled? Uh, oh, she's linked. Well, so what there. time? What time does? This I'm sorry. If I had that Ferrari, I would I would just take the license plate ticket. Why would you? When is uh, when is Blondie scheduled to start? Twenty minutes, fifteen minutes. Okay. On the hour. There's the Ferrari. Look at that. There's the Ferrari. It's tan. Arch, and we've a, also got my, have a look. Uh, that it's green is fucking cool. What's that the green? What is that green thing? That that's an RS5, my friend's RS5. That's fucking awesome looking See those color. Wheels there? That's the direction I want to go. Oh, lovely. See that blacked out like that with the red ring around it? Yeah, that's going to look I great. Add the same, add I add a little same bit of a fire. Add a little bit of the color, the fire. Yeah. 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 Now, Arch, go back to my car. 
But that green, man, yeah, that green, green is so hard. Okay, so what what do we look? At? Oh, what's that? Oh, That's yeah. a, oh, what the fuck is that? No, no, those are the HREs. Hold on, go back it's to the white star. one. Yeah, I'm a super chat from Patel. Yeah, Patel look at Philippe, five dollars. Show half my HRE wheels on my older Huracan to your WhatsApp. This must be. Is it. that that? Is that what he's talking those about? Are, yeah, those are HRE wheels. How how much is car like that? Archie. It gotta be like close to three hundred, right? Over two. How much is a car like that? Yeah. No idea. Canada is different to Australia. Prices are a lot no, cheaper. No, I would in just say it in just say it in Australian then. What would be this something like this in Australia? Oh, half a million. I, I I actually this is so far removed from me. I don't even look at this stuff on the. You know what? On um, the Oh, he's saying that's so LP far removed. Yeah. LP five eight zero dash two. The it last Lambo uh, I was driven in was a Gallardo, which was such an aggressive beast of a car. It was fully appreciated. I like this in white color, candy mm. white, candy yeah. white. So the lines you on can it. also have. Pearl white too. You can have a pearl white. It's got a like a metallic in it. A I like this though. I like this white. This is the this is how I like my dials too. I like that. And uh, you know what? It has the like regular doors. It's not the douchebag Lambo doors. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Fatso Beautiful says hat. that this is just a piece of garbage, ten years old. Let's move on, boys. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Ben gets the pass tonight. Yes, sir. We're getting on to the last fifth quarter quarter of an hour of the show. Let's just go through. And Mikey, some of the uh, we are doing really shitty with uploads uh, lately altogether, yeah, yeah. to be honest with you. Can you help us out? Hey, everybody. No, no, Mike, you got to go full Mike. screen. Oh. You got to do full screen. Yeah, you got to do the whole thing. Hey, and where yeah, is, uh, where is your. Uh, there no, you go. <laughs> okay, let him work. Let him work. All right. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Come on, everybody. I mean, wait, what are yeah. we doing here? Full screen, boy. Full screen. I'm, I'm as guilty as everybody. I'm thank uh, you. At this moment, I am upvoting because I forgot to do it. And me too. You, me you too. Yeah, as do well. that too so uh don't forget to upvote. Uh everybody should do it when they log on. It helps Archie out. That's what we want to do. And shame those cheap fikers that never super chat into upvoting. Uh, I'm not going to say anything negative. Just... No, no, Mikey knows what he's doing. Fuck me, Dad Hoff. Are you now teaching a master how to perform? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sure. So Archibald, how do you feel about show tonight? Hey, it's uh look. The takings are a bit down, but um that's okay. If the takings are down, we'll just close up. I'll go back. I'll go back to cleaning industrial bins if necessary. That was a great gig cleaning those industrial bins. Do you agree? You enjoyed every it's moment. Of fun. I still like have you your too. orange vest, right? right? You still have your so, orange vest? Yes, 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 yes. So let me ask you something. When, have, you, when you when you would return, you would like to stand in front of the piled <coughs> up mountain of Louis Vuitton briefcases with your glass of whiskey and start screaming <coughs> and yelling <coughs> and bitching about your company, correct? That's correct. I love those videos. They always made me feel like uh when I would have a stressful day at work or something, and I watch that, I feel, I always felt like you were speaking on behalf of all of us. Yeah, I agree. And you know what, Archie? I wanna... Yes. That was fantastic. It was pure emotion, and it was real. 
There was no fucking acting there. Talk to, talk about method acting. There was a fucking life. Life. Do you remember? Do you remember, Archie? I do remember. They were great fun, Bear. I used to have a lot of fun at that place. But you also like to, to explode. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, they were fun. <clears throat> that was my last real job there. Why, well, you don't consider this real job? Yeah, this is a real job. Real job I working mean, for I someone think it else. it is a real job. It's, it's mm. a job you're doing. You're doing honest work. You're doing your thing. I think you're putting a fair content lately, and uh, just keep doing what you can. So we can do, bear. Oh, we can do. I found something of my keys. Just let me play this, bear. All right. Hey, okay. everybody! It's time to upload. Woo! Look, I can even do it. Watch. There. It was that easy. All I needed to do is to upvote. That's all you need to do. It doesn't even take a wiggle of your finger or even just a wiggle of one of my teeth here to upvote. Just do it. <laughs> that was, awesome. my hair was, my hair was, a that was good, man. That was very good. I think it's time, Archie, uh, to uh, thank some uh, great Panthers tonight. It was... Uh, Good show, great panelists, uh, great topics. Never a moment of being boring. Uh, I respect this. Even if the money is not a great one, great money, I take a pride in doing a good live stream. Yeah, right. we had laughs. It was a very good live stream. Uh, and Arch, can we take a moment to just take a look at how good Mikey's hair is coming along? Look at that. Ah, uh, look at that. It's perfect. It does look good. I mean, amazing. It really does. I was never a fan of Mikey with long hair. It's coming in good this time. Yeah, I grew it out differently. Got, yeah, you got Patel right Philippe, back, Mikey. Patel Philippe, Ross nice. Rachel Brady, Joel Brown, Fat Windbag Ben Ben. Our condolences to you, indeed, man. That's so sad. Stud muffin, stud muffin, stud muffin, stud muffin, stud muffin, stud muffin, stud muffin. Corrado Galizia, Patel Philippe, Marcus Mandel, Ron the Actuary, Fat Windbag Band, Zimon Khan, Jefferson Exotic, Patel Philippe, Ross Rachel Brady, Patel Philippe, Joel Brown, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Tictology, Mac Lovin, Patel Philippe, Apes, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe. There we go, guys. And actually, as, a, as a final note on tonight's show, can you bring uh, Patrick's AD Never Calling last comment? Yes, sir. Getting that up there. AD Never Calling, we love you. One can live on horribly weak super chats in bangers. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Notice it you wasn't. Do you, uh, so you're doing a uh, you're doing a uh, uh, early morning show for North America with Laxipu. Yeah, I've been doing we'll that. They've been, they've been going good. Okay, make sure you post the links to the show to the the shows ahead of time. Uh, I appreciate yes, you doing that, so we can actually promote it. And uh, big big thank you to Hoff. Big thank you to Mikey, to Mark Goldberg, to. Yes, sir. Um, JJ, who came on, uh, great support on the panel. And uh, Archie, you're yes, a last board, you're a pontiff. Hey, guys, thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll try and get more footage out of the streets of Bangkok today. I'm glad you like the tuk-tuk racing. Yeah, that was See great. you tomorrow, guys. Love you. See you, Hoff. See you, Archie.